Are we live? Are we live? Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, I seem to be having some inventory issues. There we go. So where were we? Um, I definitely want to set up a cannon to send uh, the four fragments uranium ore directly back to uh, Nalvis. So let's get started on that. These are actually surprisingly easy to make. And I wonder if the, at this point if I should be having things delivered here, just to simplify things, or if it would be better to make planets self-sufficient whenever I can. Okay, um, so let's see, we make the core fragments, the copper, uh, stone and uranium, and then we make the core frag, use the core fragments to make all the other things, and a little bit of fluid. We need to get rid of the water, get rid of the oil as a high priority. Why do we have no power? That's why. Because we we're messing around with a power switch. Because it turns out we don't have enough power. To keep the core mining going all the time. Okay. So let's get ourselves some uranium fuel cells going, so we can actually keep this thing ticking along. I could make 40 accumulators with the 200 batteries I have happen to have. Um, I wonder if that's enough to finish that blueprint. 72, not even close. Oh no. Wait, bots, please stop, 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 stop. My inventory is already too big. Uh, I didn't realize I had a bunch of flat solar panels. Zero to infinity. Okay, so it's not auto-trashing. Uh, why don't we organize our inventory a little bit while we figure out what we're doing? Livery cannon goes here. And it's going to send Delivery Cannon Capsule Core Fragment. We'll need to set up manufacturing for the cannon shells. And let's start sorting this stuff out. Iron, copper, steel, stone brick can go in here. And concrete probably. Uh, maybe I'll end up using two chests for this stuff. Landfill goes here. Turns out I brought way more than I needed. Not that I wasn't aware of that, but I was trying to fill up the rocket as well. Uh, let's see. Wait, that doesn't go there.
concrete. Um, I know where circuits are going to go. We'll put them about here. Guess I'll put the modules in with the circuits for now. Now I'll put the cargo rocket things in here. So we've got all of our stuff for the rocket back in one place. Whoa, okay. Not what I had in mind, but we'll work with it. And then... It's a lot of stone. Put it in here for now. That boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I'll put stuff like this in here, I guess. Let's see how many of these we can actually empty now. There's an awful lot of attack alarms going off. And it's literally all j wait, what? Oh no, what's happening? I thought we fixed this. We kind of did. For whatever reason, they picked up more delivery cannons than usual. Uh, the capsules. But they're not picking up any more for now. Hmm. Maybe I should add a condition to this so that we remove the stone filter as well. Whenever the um, bots are in flight. It might be better to have a pair of filter inserters. Well, they wouldn't have to be they would have to be filter inserters. Something to think about. Okay. Seems like we must have plenty of iron everywhere. If we're doing away with it. Oh, we do. Fantastic. And I'm not seeing any stock trains. Perfect. Alright. These go in here. Um... Solar things can go in here. How about pipes and stuff in here? Oh, there's an extra space capsule. Uh, I guess we didn't need to bring another one. Can this even... Not enough thrust to escape. Yeah, I didn't think so. How do I get out? Um, I'm pressing enter. I, I don't know. Can it be mined while anyone is in it? Oh, this cargo pod was in the way. Okay, cool. That's good. Um, stone, get out of the way, please. Let's put all the rail things in here. Uh... Inserters, power poles, rail, nuclear, how you doing fat boy? Uh, this goes here. And mine goes here. 
Those could definitely share a little bit. Let's put all of the production things in here if we can fit them. All good. Just finished packing up after a week in Adelaide with friends, moving home to Vic tomorrow morning. Going to chill, watch some stream, get some food. Life all good? You? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, really enjoying my break already. Most of it still remains. And that is to say, most of the minimum that I'm going to get for my break. Uh, rocket fuel, I guess, can go in its own thing. Solar. Okay. Why don't I turn all of these into storage chests and we'll put down a RoboPort. If we can find a spot for it. And I don't know if I brought any extra construction bots, but this will help. I would like to make sure stone is all in the same place. I guess that's fine. May as well turn on my... Oh, we need logistic parts as well. Um, they are somewhere. Here they are. Oh my goodness. Let's get right in the middle of these if we can. Okay. I think we need more robo-ports. We're already haloing. Did I just step out? Yeah, I did. That should do it. I wonder if I should have set up uh, some storage. No. No, that's going to be fine. It's going to be a while in any case before we get to the point where... We want to bank core fragments for later. Alright. Um, put all this stuff in here for the moment. There's some accumulators yet to be placed here still. Uh, for that, we first need to set up a production chain that'll make batteries. Something I maybe should have designed before I came here is... What would be the smallest uh, production chain that I can set up that'll make just a little bit of everything, even if slowly? Obviously, the absolute smallest would be if I used crafting combinators and had, like, a single machine of each type, but that would be a bit difficult, to say the least. Have we actually... I may have forgotten the minor detail of getting uranium into these machines.
let's see, uranium goes here. And here. And just to double check again, uh, we are able to consume the uranium faster than we make it. Good. Alright, so that's... maybe I should have brought some 235. That's going to take a little while to get going, of course. Considering that we mined the entire planet of Mars for uranium and still didn't get Coverex started, uh, this could be a little while. I, I might still have some nuclear fuel lying around over here. Oh, there it is. 51. Uh, can we maybe not... Actually, I'll just do this, and then this. Did I not bring any logistic bots over here? I did not. Let's pick up a couple. And then these in here. And away they go. Come to think of it, with the circuit knowledge that I've gained since I designed one of these, I could probably set up a latch system so that we actually only put one unit of uranium fuel cell into each reactor as soon as the steam drops below a certain point. Could have a latch condition of steam drops below X, switch on, um, read the hand contents of the inserters, and as soon as that's greater than zero, switch off, and then they'll still insert. That's actually really easy. Let's do it now. Don't know where I would fit it here, but it's not going to be a problem. Um, so these are all going to be green greater than zero. I think I just... never mind. Green greater than zero. And then instead of... well, these connections can all stay the same. And we'll put a... a three combinators right about here. Uh, steam less than 25k. Wait, it was 2.5k, wasn't it? It would be, because we're only reading from one storage tank. So once it drops below 10% steam... I mean, we could make it even lower than that, probably. Let's try 1,000, see how it goes. Steam below 1,000. Output green signal. Uh, that's not going to trigger while I'm working with this. And... Uh, uranium fuel cell. Greater than zero. Output red. Connect that to... 
our memory cell. And I think the memory cell can just be connected to this whole thing. It should be okay. Um, so green greater than red output green one. Nothing yet, as expected. Uh, read hand contents hold. Green greater than zero is the enabled condition. So as soon as we pick up a uranium fuel cell, the stop condition triggers, and it doesn't trigger again until steam is below 1k, except it probably is... It's going to... I think it's going to flicker back and forth the first time. I need to think about this. If steam is a bit below 1k, green signal, pick this up, red signal, uh, green signal is not greater than red, so we're not doing the green signal anymore. But as soon as they stop, I think as soon as they drop the uranium-235, we go back to a green signal until the steam increases again. Which is exactly the thing that we're trying to prevent. Um... This is actually trickier. It's as tricky as I thought it might be the first time. I think we need... I think we need to hold on to the red signal for like a, a minute or something. What if we add a timer? How do we do that? If red signal is less than some amount, output red signal. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about this one. Okay, not as easy as expected. And let's continue. Uh, what should we be doing now? We've got power, for now at least. I should add a radar down to this, although I suppose every little bit of how it counts at the moment. No, a radar should definitely be part of this um, design. Should probably add some more solar panels too. I do have some on me, but can we... I probably didn't put any more because I can't put them here symmetrically. Could easily add some over here, I guess. Um... 300 kilowatts plus 50, 100, and a little bit more, 450. Let's call it 500, like 8. Yeah, we should double the number of solar panels here. Not that we aren't already connected to a bunch of solar panels. Just thinking about it for a future design. Where did our uranium go? Is this whole thing stuck? No, it's just being slow. It's just being very slow, actually. How has our power been looking for the last little while? I think 
we should probably add some more coal mining drills again. Although adding more of them might ultimately be not that efficient. They cost a linear amount of power and give diminishing returns and we're bottlenecked on power once we run out of fuel, which will happen more quickly the more power that we spend. Um, but on the other hand, the more uranium we get here, the sooner we get Coverex started and the sooner we can actually run the nuclear plant uh, consistently. I'm not seeing the accumulators charges uh, dropping. I, I wouldn't expect to with nuclear, but that's a good sign, I guess. Let's just see how that goes. Um... So more solar and accumulators might be a good idea. I should have brought way more accumulators, to be honest. Um, but we do have plenty of solar we can drop. So let's do that for now. And I guess we'll continue this up here, maybe. Okay, let's go. Wait, that doesn't look quite right. Nor does that. We are manufacturing cliff explosives now, so I don't have to dance around that anymore. I'm just going to keep going until I run out of flat solar panels. And then we'll switch over to the regular ones. Have I run out of cliff explosives? Yep. Okay. Only 10. That's a bit odd. Oh, I didn't put that much coal in here. Is there a coal mine? Yes. It's going to be a slight nuisance to get over here, but that's okay. Wait, did I go past it? That is so difficult to see. Alright. Productivities. Uh, built. And here. Um, that's fine, I guess. That's not fine. Okay. Why does my volume keep adjusting ever so slightly by itself? What the? Uh, okay. should fix that. Do we have coal? We have coal, I think. Yep. Let's give it a bit more iron as well, so we don't run out of that. 
Actually, we could do the exact same thing right here. Convenient. Uh, minor. Prods. Power. And go. Let's give it a furnace. I don't have one. Let's go grab a furnace. And where be... Where did I put them? I think they're all in storage. Yeah. Just need one for now, I think. Uh, thank you so much for taking that off my hands, I guess. Back we go. I should probably get rid of the combat stuff for now. Hey, I am sir. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning. Uh, let's do this, and this, and one of these, and then set filters blacklist. That's actually enough. I don't need to put more than... Well, if I was doing that, it may as well just be a belt. Uh, let's add a constant combinator. And we can put in... Uh, 2400 iron and 1200 coal. Alright, furnace. And then this goes down here. Cool. So that'll be all the clip explosives we'll ever need. Back to building. And on to a regular solar panel design. I should really get some automated delivery of flat solar panels down to Nalvis going. So it doesn't feel like they cost anything, except time. And... Oh, did they give up? What? Okay. And then they're not dropping that one. Sure. Whatever. I think our walls are okay. Yeah, they're fine. Alright then. Uh, we need some batteries so we can make more accumulators. We need sulfuric acid for that, iron and copper. Uh, don't really, does copper all the way down here? Maybe it would have been simpler, ultimately. I, I could set this up from here. If we just send all of the core fragments back to Nalvis for processing, do that, and then send back... I don't think we can send uranium fuel cells by cannon, but we can probably send... 
uh, the components to make it. Uranium, uranium-238, and iron plate. And then there would be a whole lot less to deal with over here. Except that forgets that we do need to manufacture uh, anti-media artillery. So to recap our goals on this planet, we need a complete production chain sending back... Well, actually... I should probably send all of these things back to Nalvis via cannon. And we'll deal with running out of space for them over there. That seems pretty good to me. So this is all we need to... Well, I don't know if it'll be fast enough to keep the nuclear fuel going. If we add uh, more reactors, um, we're obviously going to have to expand production here. But in hindsight, what I should have done before I left was set up... Um, set up a chain to receive all of these resources. Uh, back at Nalvis, process them, send back nuclear fuel. We should be able to just coat the planet in solar panels as well to get enough, but if we're coming here to get uranium, we may as well be doing it this way. Okay, so what's the plan right now? I think the next thing that I would like to do is smelt these things that can be smelted. Um, maybe, maybe burn the coal for fuel, even. Coal liquefaction. Uh, Vulcanite is definitely going back to Nalvis. We'll want to process that first. So we'll need a couple of pulverizers. Let's grab those here. And I think we need some chemical plants as well. Oh, and steam engines of all things, just to get rid of uh, a byproduct. So this is a pretty small build, if I recall correctly. We need to crush Vulcanite, and then we need to wash Vulcanite. For that we need water. There's a chance we'll output this to stone. We'll send that back into the sushi belt over here. Um, and we need to get rid of the steam as well. I'm pretty sure just one steam engine is way more than enough to get rid of this. Uh, four steam per second. Okay. And this can consume 30 per second. Should I do this a little bit closer to the water? Let's see why not. One more offshore pump. Some pipes. It's not going to line up very well. And 
the substation. We're going to need an accumulator over here so that I can measure. Well, actually, I could do it with um, a storage tank. We just need to be able to measure some stored power. All right, so that goes down there. Uh, these go into here. I'm pretty sure we need more than one of these. Let's check. Yeah, that's exactly one-to-one -one for crushed vulcanite. Although it will change if we add some uh, productivity modules. How much vulcanite are we making with just this setup? 3.56 per second, and this will consume uh, only 1.6. Huh. I'm surprised. Oh, that would be if we're not bottlenecking on the uh, uranium core fragments, which we are, even at full power. Let's see. We're going three times as fast as core mining at this point. So... We should be able to handle all of the vulcanite with just this until we scale up coal mining. So I won't bother building more of this for now. Um, we are going to need a power switch just because we want to use the steam for energy before anything else. So power switch goes here. Wire connections go here, and read the amount in the storage tank. And we'll just say if steam is less than some amount, Make it half. If the steam is half full, turn off the power switch until we consume some steam with the steam engine. Uh, Pepite XD, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello to you too. How are you doing? Alright, so crushed vulcanite, and we have to get rid of stone as well. Um... I think I'll just filter that on a splitter. And let's turn off the alert sounds for now. I'll just have to check on this number a little bit more often. This can go up here. Uh, splitter. Bring stone over... Well, actually, so this is making washed vulcanite, and then washed vulcanite is what we turn into vulcanite blocks, right? Yeah. So we'll need an assembly machine right about here, perhaps. That's not going to work. Oh. Take a dollies to the rescue. This needs power from up here somewhere. Now, is one of these machines enough to support this? Washed Vulcanite. No, we need... Theoretically, we need a couple, even though we're not going to for a while. Um, so let's do... You know what? Let's not have a big pole for this stuff. Medium pole is fine. Another one of these, please. And then... I guess we could beacon it if we really need to. Wait, what? 
Washed Vulcanite. Why is that still so much slower? I guess I misread that earlier. Oh, it was f before I applied the productivity modules, that's why. Uh, washed vulcanite. Huh? I could have sworn I just... One point nine eight per second. One per second. All right, I guess we're doubling this. That's too close. And then this goes back to the sushi belt. I don't think it's important enough to have a proper merger here. Stuff that gets to here and stuff that comes from here is they're both going to be quite slow. Okay, so stone goes back to sushi belt, uh, vulcanite comes to here, through the rocks that I didn't even see, and then, uh, can I maybe move this up a bit? Just need one more. Okay. So that'll be our washed vulcanite. Somehow I don't think we're going to have a problem with consuming the steam. No, it is gradually increasing. I think. Well, either way, we've put a condition there so it, it'll it get cut off from the main power network if this accumulates to 50%. And that'll be our Vulcanite bricks. Now we need another cannon. Uh, need some concrete. I think the next thing I'll focus on is the whole production chain that we need just to support the cannon shells, which is going to be a pain to say the least. A Veldek? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, why don't we bump this up a little bit more so that we could do it this way. Steam consumes my CPU. Oh no. Uh, Vulcanite block, delivery cannon capsule, fantastic. I wonder if I should put the cannons together or... Nah, either I'm going to have to belt everything to where the cannons are, or I'm going to have to belt uh, delivery cannon capsules to the cannons. So is there anything else? Well, yeah, there is. There's like at least um, five other products. No, I think we set it up. Oh, 
if we set it up so that we're making enough fuel to support this, we'll eventually back up on uranium. Uh, I could just send raw uranium back, but I think I would rather send it back as these two types. In which case... Why don't I just put these on the same belt? And bring this down here. Cool. All right. So we'll put a couple more cannons down this way. About here. What do I need? More concrete? Where am I going? Let's take a couple of stacks this time. Uranium and uranium. And I should have moved that over one tile. I'm going to need a place for it to land back on Nalvis. And I probably should have made this, um... Uh, probably should have set this up before I came here. But what are you gonna do? It's just gonna have to be in the bot network, at least for now. So we'll set up some chests. I think I'll just set it up, I'll set up a chest next to the uh, active provider chests. Actually, if we're going to do that, let's put it near some storage. Like here. Alright, delivery cannon chest. Active provider chest. I guess we could go all out when it comes to emptying it. Uh, some power. And we're going to need another transmitter. I think the... I don't know if there are any transmitters over here. They're all receivers so far. We've definitely got them in the robot network, though. Uh, here we go. So how do we set this up so that... I could just cheat and look at what I've done on Nalvis Orbit, but let me see if I can think this through. How do we set it up so that um, we receive a signal when we want something sent? Gonna need some combinators. Uh, arithmetic. Everything in here times one output C for count. And then... Can't click on this. Now this main bus. H times one output C for count. 
I didn't really leave myself a whole lot of room to do the circuit logic. Maybe we'll move this over a bit. In any case. Um, we need to read from the logistic network. And decide if we... Well, no, in, the case, in this case, we just always want things sent to us, and we'll deal with it over here. So I just, I, I guess we're just, um... Hmm. How about if we say, decide a combinator, if C equals zero, then output tick or something. And if that signal is received, then we're allowed to send something. I could even set it up so that I put a constant combinator here, um, send a negative one signal, and it's only when C equals negative one. That way, if the power goes out, I, I don't think this would happen if some if the power was out and somehow at one tick or another this was working, but it wasn't receiving a signal from this. Um, then that would prevent us from accidentally uh, sending some stuff to the delivery cannon chest. Alright. C. Negative one. Cool. So whenever it's empty... We send a tick. All right, and then on the side that picks up the um, delivery can capsules, we're going to receive signal. I don't think I sent one of these, but let's just double check before I build it. Oh. What? Are you kidding me? What? How? Three out of three medias destroyed. Two out of three medias destroyed. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. This is not good. Uh, lasers. Okay. Are there any more? There are more. And they're right near all of our storage. We need to check this entire island, for starters. Yeah, it looks like just one media getting through can spawn a bunch of them. Unless they were that quick to expand. Dump a few radars? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Okay. I think in terms of securing this planet, there's no kill like overkill. We're going to have to set up like a complete infrastructure of redundant defense. Because I do not want to have to come back here once this is done. Except to, you know beef up the scale of production. Alright, I think we're fine. Yay for holidays? Yes, indeed. Verza, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Multiplex, 
Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. We're not finding any more biters, are we? God, imagine if they destroyed the capsule and I had to reproduce the entire production chain from scratch to get a cargo rocket launched again. So, our three anti-media defenses are definitely not enough. We have to watch out. Whenever we hear that sound that says that there's a media landing, we need to check. Uh, whenever we see that message as well. Okay, did they do any serious damage? Not this time, I don't think. Nothing that isn't easily replaceable. Don't you need up to 16 or 18 total? I thought it was written down somewhere. Um, I don't think I've had a meteor reach Nalvis with 12 cannons. Um, I could be wrong. Um, I think it's like... 50% less likely. I, I, I can't remember the exact number, but some percentage you're less and less and less likely to get one more meteor sent, like if you're doing a coin flip every time or something like that. Um, and then it's a similar equation for the cannons, except they have an accuracy of how much? can't tell from here. Eighty percent. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. It was something like fifty percent chance for each additional media and eighty percent chance for each cannon shot. So by the time you have twelve cannons it's incredibly unlikely that anything ever gets through, though it's always possible. Okay. Where were we? Um, oh yeah, I was figuring out the logic for this. We're going to need a receiver, and I don't know if I have one. It's not a huge deal if I waste the resources making one, but I would prefer not to. And this is looking a lot like, in a way, it's looking a lot like a new player's first base, sort of. It's spaghetti, but a bit more organized. All right, so we're going to have a... Nervous... Nervous main bus, there we go. On the green wire, we are receiving the tick signal. And... Tick greater than zero. Stack size one. And we'll have our... Uh, delivery cannon capsules on this belt. Oops. We'll do the same thing for... All of our other cannons. I won't necessarily have them laid out exactly like that, but I'm just sort of leaving a reminder for myself that this is how we're going to do it.
I can see my own health bar. Should probably turn my robots back on. And maybe it's not a bad idea to keep the lasers handy. Am I out of fast inserters? No. Okay. And... Delivery cannon capsule core fragment uranium. I guess I'll prioritize this direction. Until that's full. Actually, that doesn't make any sense. If anything, we should prioritize here so that we have enough nuclear fuel. It is... I, I actually really wish I'd just brought an obscene amount of flat solar panels for this. Um, although the scale, we're, we're, we're producing nuclear power here, and we're, we're producing infinite uranium here, it does make sense to set it up to use nuclear fuel, it's just a pain. Okay. What's next? I think next is just the production chain to ensure we have uh, delivery cannon capsules, which involves LDS, heat shielding, so steel, sulfur, stone tablet, glass. Uh, it's a lot. So we need to do all of the smelting. I'm almost tempted that I should have brought regular electric furnaces and done a really basic uh, Omni smelter that doesn't require the crafting combinators, but we'll be fine. How much stone could we pro Let's not do what I decided to do with Vulcanite and I'll just set up furnaces that can handle the maximum from these. Orange bread, thank you very much for the raid. And Zerlin at the same time. Thank you for the raid. Orange raid, orange raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Uh, Zilrin. Salutations. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It was good. That's good. Hatcher12. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Much appreciated, thank you. How y'all doing? Uh, so we're currently scraping together a uranium ore core fragment system that's going to power itself and send things back to our main planet. We are a couple of noobs who collabed the game today. How was, how has the grind been going? Uh, just getting started. Kind of. Alright. Um, so we need to set up some furnaces. Let's go grab them. Maybe I should do a Omni Smelter. I wonder how small I could make it. No, I... Th let's check, but I think like one smelter with a beacon is going to be enough for each resource. Or maybe two or three. So it doesn't make that much sense to bother with that for now. I really just want to get this functional relatively quickly. Um, the Vulcanite blocks I want to send back to the main base. The other stuff I, I'm sending back because I have to, because I have to get it away from here. So let's calculate based on that. And beacon. Don't have one on me right now. Uh, let's see. Iron. Copper. 
steel, uh, yeah, I'm sure stone brick, and what else? We're not doing, oh, Vita, Vita, Alange, Rose. No, I decided I was going to send Vita back in its raw form, because there's more that we can do with it back at base, even if it will be slightly less efficient in terms of cannon capsules. Uh, glass, and is there anything else? I don't think so. One, two, three, plus sand, plus steel, that's it. Okay, let's power this for a second and check out the rate compared to what we might produce here. Uh, it's only going to consume four stone, but that's not counting turning the stone into sand. 6.4 sand per second. That's going to be a lot of stone, I think. Uh, we definitely need... We need six times this for iron. Okay. Just figuring out the ratio for now. Obviously, this layout wouldn't work very well. So that'll be enough to consume all of the iron. It's actually significantly more than enough. Uh, we're also consuming a little bit down here, but it's probably not worth worrying about. Oh, that would actually bottleneck it. That's actually an exact ratio, weirdly enough. I should just send the iron down here when we're done with it up here. Okay, so six of those for iron. Uh, copper is... going to be five... Okay, this is more smelters than I expected, for sure. And they're all imperfect ratios. Which makes an Omni smelter a hell of a lot more attractive, but I don't want to deal with the inputs and outputs this time. Um, wait, what? Apparently that's not... Oh, I think I was reading this one as well when I was comparing, checking the rate for iron earlier. So we actually need even more iron. If this was going full speed, which it won't for now, but I'm still going to set up the furnaces for it. Okay, copper's looking good. Iron is good. Uh, and I do understand I'm setting it up so that we're going to bottleneck on the resources themselves. That's the idea this time. Normally, it's better to have saturated belts of ore going into the furnaces and saturated belts of plate going into the next thing and so on. But because we're doing core mining and we get arbitrary ratios of each resource that we need to get out of the way of each other, um, we need to make sure those are just gone. Otherwise it'll block everything else. Okay, so iron, good, copper, good, stone. Uh, we're going to need to turn it into... Well, now that I, now that I think about it, we only need to send back one stone product, right? which could be glass, I think. Whichever is going to be most stack efficient, I think we should send back. So, let's see, stone brick stacks to 100, 200 stone per stack. Uh, 
Stone itself, 50 per stack, obviously worse. Uh, glass is 4 sand, 400 sand per stack. I think it's exactly the same as stone brick, actually. So... Although we have a massive overabundance of, like, stone brick compared to glass, probably, back at base. Um, I think I would just like to turn it into glass to send it back. And it also makes it more efficient if we end up having to destroy that resource in order to make room. Or just landfill. Uh, the trouble with landfill is we can't shoot it through a delivery cannon, therefore we can't destroy it, like, fully automatically, like we're doing, uh, down here. Uh, the resources that end up coming here are whatever we cannot make room for otherwise, uh, that would stop core mining from happening. So this is the absolute last resort for a given resource. It gets, uh, a lot of the stone gets used to make these uh, delivery cannon capsules with stone in them, and that gets shot at these chests full of whatever else comes here. Um, so, back to figuring out what we need furnace wise. I could turn all of the iron plate that doesn't, that isn't needed down here into steel to get sent back home. Seems like a good idea. Never enough steel, really. What was I trying to check? Copper. Oh, that's right. So this is seven iron, five copper, which is a bit more than enough. Not going to need this for a minute. I need to... The crude oil actually is accumulating. I need to find a way to get rid of it relatively soon. Okay. We need assembly machines to turn stone into sand. Uh, not that many of them, as I recall. Also, our power has completely run out again already. Unless the biters are eating something. Nope. Wait, how did this happen? The... The core mining drills are all on a power switch. Don't tell me the, um... Media defense installations by themselves were too much. That's not good. Okay. Well, I hope we don't get any meteors here for a minute. Alright, how much sand would this be? Maybe I shouldn't be going so crazy with modules. No, we're going to get nuclear power going anyway. Uh, this would be... Two stone per second. Oh, come to think of it, we've got stone production down here just a tiny bit. Unpowered beacons not accounted for. Where are the beacons? Oh, right. Wait, where's the unpowered beacon? Okay, one point... Only 1.9 stone per second. And that's if this was going full speed. So these are actually enough, as they are. 
That's pretty good. And we'll make some glass. This will probably be way more than enough. Uh, yes, indeed. Okay, we're making... If that was 2 per second, which it's not, we're making 5.3 cent per second. Just one of these machines is enough with a beacon. Uh, it would be more power efficient if we just have more machines instead of using the beacons. Might be a good idea. I want to ch uh, just check something. So this would normally be... Uh, plus 80% consumption, plus 40% speed. Max consumption plus 40%. Okay, so the consumption gets halved as well as the bonus. Um, considering the speed bonus is less than the energy cost, and we've got an overabundance of machines, and power is an issue, I guess we should just make more machines. Uh, we need 10 of these, I think. I got too used to using beacons. Let's check. Uh, we definitely only need a couple of glass machines. Wait, let's make sure we get all of the stone. Alright, wait. Now it's saying we could make nearly 11 stone per second? Probably shouldn't have used beacons for this part either. 8 point... Oh, it, I think it was because we we were using rate calculator when there was no power. There's your problem. I wonder if I should just 7.67, 21. I don't suppose if I remove these beacons, we get something a bit more sensible for now. That still uses all the core fragments. Okay, that's actually going to make things way easier. Oh, that takes into account negative 10 core fragments from this. All right, so we'll add, oh no, we'll do it like this. Yeah, that only consumes 2.4 uranium core fragments per second. I think that's fine, actually. We want most of it going back home. Um, that's good. All right, well, this actually got a whole lot easier because we're going to power bottleneck on core mining until we get an obscene amount of nuclear power going. So we're actually going to need way fewer of these. This is 0.25 iron ore per second. Uh, five of these should be enough. Yeah, that's good. And stone... is good. Copper... Is not going to take much at all. Less than one per second. We need four of these. 
And no doubt one machine will be enough for glass uh, to get rid of the sand. Actually, no, that's not even close. We actually do need a few uh, to get rid of the stone. Okay. And then... We want to turn the iron plate into steel to send it back in a form that's five times as dense. Oh, we need like five times as many of these, I think. That's not quite right. Productivity modules really throw things off. Okay, so we need like just a little bit more industrial furnaces to deal with the iron, uh, turning it into steel. So it's probably six, right? We, we will need to prioritize iron plate going to nuclear fuel production, but other than that, we should make sure we get rid of all of it. Uh, so one more of these machines. That's actually one to one. Wait a minute, that's seems very odd. Oh, this is five times as fast, but this needs five times as many. Derp. I don't know what I was thinking. Were you able to kill all the biters on that planet? On this one? Temporarily? Yes. Uh, we did just have a biter meteor uh, that managed to come through not that long ago. Where is it? I can't scroll up with this, I don't think. Uh, Terex, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Temop, what? Okay, so that is perfect. Uh, and I think this whole thing is going to do what we need. Uh, uranium would get consumed. I should probably make more centrifuges and get rid of the beacon here as well, but I'm willing to pay a little bit of extra power to not have to bother with that. Centrifuges are kind of expensive. I know Bider rained down, but you can stop that. Yeah, it's just a bit difficult right now. Uh, let's see. We probably also need to make, like, stone and concrete and everything. Like, we're going to have to produce um, low-density structures, heat shielding, um, uh, what else goes into this thing? Explosives, we've already got, sort of, copper cable, heat shielding, LDS. All right. How many machines would it take to make enough? Let's see. I don't think you can prod this. That's fine. Um, it's actually really hard to know how many delivery cannon capsules we need to make to keep up with this. But if we just prioritize it and make sure we overproduce them, it'll be fine. Did you not bring meteor killers? I did, but there's a problem with how much power they consume. We've got three of them active because uh, they are currently consuming 15 megawatt just by sitting there. And... If we ever get to the point where we can't maintain that, they actually start to lose charge. 
yeah, it's a bit rough. Alright, so stone brick and concrete is requires stone brick, I believe. Stone brick, sand, water, and iron stick. What a pain. Okay. Um can we maybe we need iron plate to come here anyway. Iron stick. Why were we making concrete again? What? I could have sworn there was something that we'll need to automate concrete for. Maybe I'm wrong. Ultimately, we'll need LDS, heat shielding, explosives, copper cable. Uh, explosives is coal and iron plate and oil things, ultimately. Which we've got up here already in a very limited capacity. Um, oh, wait. The explosives don't actually need iron plate. It's just coal and oil. That's pretty easy. Um, I can't believe I already forgot why I thought I needed to make concrete. Or did I just assume? Uh, LDS is glass, copper, steel, plastic. Plastic is coal and oil. Heat shielding is steel, stone tablet. So stone tablet, that's what I had to make from here. Not concrete, I'm pretty sure. Tablet. And... Uh, sulfur and steel. This is going to be such spaghetti. Okay. Heat shielding, LDS. Copper cable and explosives. Uh, heat shielding. Steel and sulfur. I should have... Well, it's not too late. I could set up a little oil thing down here, but no, I think it's better if we pipe some petroleum down this way to make sulfur. We've already got a sulfur thing set up here. What if I copy it a few times? Oh, the underground is kind of in the way. That's okay. We can always move it. I would rather make sure I overproduce it. Let's see, how many do we need? Hard to know. Heat shielding, eight sulfur each. Um... I'm thinking one machine for heat shielding is going to be enough for the cannon shells. I hope. More solar? Yeah, I should have brought, like, way more flat solar panels. Why are you not building a logistic hub? Um, because I want this thing to be completely self-sufficient. Not have to think about things like, um, bot attrition and stuff like that. Uh, what this, I guess? How much would this be? Uh, only eight per second, really. Well, it's probably enough. Multiplex, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, where are we going? One sulfur per second. Okay. I may have gone a little bit overkill. This requires only 0.25 per second. We're making just under one per second. Let's get rid of all of these. And then... Like so. And I don't know how much belt I've actually got. Probably still got plenty of undergrounds. Uh, 609. That's pretty good. Come to think of it, I was going to pump petroleum down here. That would have been a lot easier. It's not too late to do that. How many pipe to grounds do I have? It might actually be easier to use the underground belts. Because... I've got so many of them. Pipe to ground, 271. Yeah, let's do it this way. Alright, where is this actually going? A El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Might be doing well. Did I... What? Well, that's unfortunate. Also, here is some more invisible coal. So one thing I could have done that would have made this a lot easier is just to bring, well, significantly easier, is just to bring a ludicrous amount of nuclear fuel so I wouldn't have to have worried about power for a bit longer. be fine. And we'll spaghetti that over this way. Actually, just in case I want to use that space, we'll do it like this. And then bring that through here. All right, let's actually go grab the underground belts. And pick this stuff up directly. Oh, the bots are doing the thing. That's why I don't have so many underground belts. Okay. Let's get these placed first. And then this one. Cool. 
So that should be almost all of it. Where is our sulfur? There's a ghost up there. Looks like that'll be it. Nope. Uh, actually, yes. Okay. Well, we'll just wait and see if it ends up down here. And then productivity is on these. Maybe we'll make another one. We'll see. Uh, we need steel to come over here. Should probably actually start laying these out properly. Um, let's put iron over here. Didn't even see that rock. Uh, splitter. I should use more undergrounds. We've got so many of them. And only so much... Uh, regular belt. And that's unfortunate. Why does this not auto control click to my trash slots? All right, get out of here. And then this one. That's going way too far. Actually, we'll do it like this. And power it up. Wait, what? Oh, it's one tile off reaching. Unless I do it like this. There we go. Steel. I guess I could just have it go straight down the middle and use the outsides for output. Let's give it a substation. Doesn't quite reach. Use another one of these. I think those are all on the same side, but deal with that if we have to. It's going to be half a steel plate per second, so I'm not too bothered by that, to be honest. We'll need another delivery cannon. In fact, why don't we put it right next to one of these since they are 5x5. Five five. We need big electric motors and heat shielding. I hope I brought enough big electric motors. Not that they are that difficult to make, but... Big electric... I don't think I packed any, actually. This could actually be a problem. Big electric... Motors. I think the bots would have supplied them by now. 
Wait, what? Big electric motor. There it is. We don't have any. The ship looks like a suppository. Do you mean the uh, space capsule? I suppose it does. Rip. Diarchus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so I need to make some big electric motors, and that means lubricant. Which I guess is not that big a deal, but it's just a little bit of a pain. Um, in fact, why don't I just... Okay, that's a bit overzealous. Um, why don't I just do a lazy build for it up here? Since we're just going to need them on a... We're not going to need a continuous throughput of them. It's only for making buildings. I'm pretty sure. Lubricant. Uh, prod modules, sure. And then... Assembly machine. Big... Electric motor. And what do we need? Green circuits, steel. Small electric motors I don't have. How many does it take? Only two. That wasn't so bad, actually. I do need ten, though. So the small electric motors that I just queued up are actually just enough. We're having another blackout. I don't understand where these blackouts are coming from, considering the big electric poles are... Not big electric poles, the poor mining drills are on their own power network. It switches off if it drops below 90% accumulator charge. And we do have... It doesn't actually tell us uh, how many accumulators we have, I think. Here we go. We have over a thousand accumulators. So I'm really not sure why... Why this isn't enough to just keep things running through the night. Let's see what we can figure out. Uh, production... Alright, let's wait until it's completely daytime and see what our rate of power production is like. Probably... Some efficiency modules might not be a bad idea, now that I think about it. Not so much here. Oh, I should have put uh, productivities in this. And let's make a few big electric motors. Alright, fine. We'll start by efficiency in this. Max consumption, negative 80% equals limit. 75 kilowatts. And this one is 517 kilowatts, as opposed to 2.5 megawatts. Let's drop a few more of these. Why are you not sending a rocket with solar and batteries? Uh, I could do that, but it'll, it'll take ages to load. Also, uh, our rate of production of this stuff is not that great. Um, we were having a, some throughput issues back at the old base earlier. Um, I also want to... It, it's kind of a trial run for the next planet and the planet after that. I want to put together a kit that is as good as possible for getting all of this stuff up and running. 
partic uh, preferably on one rocket launch. But maybe two at most. Uh, let's see. So I've got another 42 efficiency modules. So we'll put those down here. And here. Why is this one not... Oh, it's full. Fair enough. Even so, this will have a need for them. I don't know if it's possible to lay it out here so that we get seven of these machines touched by the efficiency module. Uh, the beacon, that is. Looks like it is possible. Hey, you can move the ghost around even though you can't move the cannon once it's been built with Piccadollies. That's interesting. So if I put a ghost of this down... Yeah, we can move that. It's cool. Alright, let's move you over just a little bit. And... Some long arms. Fast inserter. Um, I guess this can go like so. What else? Oh, how's our power looking? We actually are getting close to fully charged. Well, we'll see how much of a difference putting in those efficiency modules make. Uh, we could do that here as well. That seems like a good idea. Seems like a very good idea, actually. I'm glad I just happened to have a stack of them in my usual requests. Why is this... Oh, it's backed up. Alright, that works. Um, I actually feel like moving these apart a little bit, and we'll just have the two belts in the middle. Although, you have to shovel sand in relatively quickly, right? No, it's only 0 0.8 per second. So we'll do... Uh... This. And for this one. Like so. This goes here. And so on. Uh, we could efficiency this one. I've only got 10 efficiency modules left. I could make some more, I guess. That needs to move over a little bit. Can't. There we go. And that just leaves copper, which is... Over on the other side, I may as well do it here. Actually, how fast are we going to have to pick up copper? Not fast at all. Okay, good. That 
doesn't look right. Oh. And then... I kind of lost track of everything I'm doing here. So we're dealing with stone, we're dealing with iron. Uh, this is going to deal with copper. Coal, we can burn for, f for power or send back. I think we'll send it back because we don't have that much coal back on the main planet. Um, just from core mining. Uranium, obviously, Vulcanite, yes. Okay, cool. Let's power this thing up. And I think I will give this an efficiency beacon as well. Let's go get some more. Well, we'll have to make some more. I don't know if it's worth it, actually. We need... What are we missing? Green circuits. We've got quite a few. Let's make some more efficiency modules. It's going to take a little while. Okay. That actually looks like a normal beacon. Well, it'll still look the same. We just don't have the... quite so many icons on it. I thought I didn't have that many efficiency threes. Oh, they're in storage. Wait, how many... how many did we have here? Uh... Efficiency. We're asking for 50. There's none available. I guess that's it. I don't remember packing them, but maybe I did. No? That's weird. I thought I only carry a stack normally if anything, of efficiency modules, and it looks like that's the case. Okay. So we're going to need one more of these. And... Uh, blue inserter goes here. That one's unconditional. This one will be same condition as this one. So how many more delivery cannons do we need to make? One... Uh, to Bocheza. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. I think it's two. Oh, I forgot this would stop because there's no storage. Wait. Oh, we made 13. That's good. Okay. Uh, I need more heat shielding. And I'm going to need 30 big electric motors in total. Uh, I had to make 20 for 10 of these without the productivity modules. That might be enough. Just doing some rough math in my head.
don't know what this uranium is doing here. Okay, what else did I come back here for? Good question. Let's get this washed vulcanite out of here. And this is all backed up already. I guess that makes sense. I'm not seeing any production here at the moment. Because there's not enough core fragments. Okay. So it doesn't actually take long to process the core fragments, it seems like. Oh, and I think I miscounted by one. We're probably going to need even more delivery cannons. Uh, let's grab that heat shielding. I don't know if I had any back here. A bit of an oversight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't bring heat shielding. So we need steel belted down here. Um, we really should make it a higher priority than sending the steel away. Actually, let's use this. is very slowly going to make heat shields. 0.03 per second. Two per minute, almost. I could probably stand to have more of these machines. And I really should have shared a belt there. Definitely. Let's just do it like this. Easy enough. And steel goes here. Output goes here. And what else did we need here? Low density structures, explosives, and copper cable. Uh, I think I might put this down this way. LDS is going to be a bit of a pain, to say the least. Uh, apparently I'm not carrying any explosives. Let's go. And then, uh, should we do an LDS build right about here, maybe? Should put it a little bit closer together. Actually, no, I want to beacon them. Also, that was still too close together. Now it doesn't need to be this far apart. Rods. And... Rods. Wait. 
Oh, I see. Just should have done this in the first place. Glass, copper, steel, plastic. So really it's just going to be plastic. That's a bit of a nuisance. Um... Copper and steel will merge here, split like so. Let's make that a little bit more neat looking. Actually, how long, how slow is this going to be? Yeah, I know unpowered beacons aren't going to... 0.13 per second, but a delivery cannon capsule only requires one. So one cannon shot every 10 seconds or less. That might be enough. All right, plastic and glass as well. And bring steel through here. Actually bring it down this way. Okay, it's getting past that stuff pretty easily. So then we just need glass and plastic. Plastic is coal plus fluid. Where is it? Coal plus petroleum. We've got coal here. I do want to be using the infinite supply of coal for this. Uh, chemical plant. We can easily get the petroleum over here. How many of these can I fit here properly? Only three. Unless I move that around a bit. Well, see how many... Let's see what we get out of two. Productivity. We could maybe even... Get some beacon efficiency out of this. It's only a little bit sketchy. Plastic. Productivity, all goes here, I've run out of blue belt, that doesn't quite reach, there we go. And this would be double the plastic we need, fantastic. So I could double the LDS if I need to. Alright, let's... Connect this up to petroleum. Hopefully it doesn't run into any rocks or rows of solar panels. Where are we going? Uh, once we get past the water. Let's have a look. Should have just used the map view to design this first. Where are we? Here. That'll be fine, I think. Not 
quite. I think I just ran out of pipe. Let's go back for some more. Fifty should be enough, I guess. I'm surprised how many productivity modules I've brought. Uh, especially with the whole not running out of them part. Let's go a bit faster, shall we? Although last time I did this, the biters came back. Speaking of, one out of three meteors destroy. Oh, it's a good thing I checked on that. Okay, let's pay him a visit, shall we? Where were they? On the southern island on the coast. Alright, first things first. Other than finishing building this, let's check that our island doesn't have any biters. Which, I probably would have noticed them by now, but not going to bet on that. Looks like we're okay. And that's the last of our piping. And that's petroleum down at plastic. All right, just as I, s oh, whoops, just as I said, as soon as I take off the combat gear, I need to put it back on. And let's pay him a visit, shall we? As far as I know, this is all of the biters on the planet, but we're going to assume that they've done some expansions before we notice them. Looks like we're okay. Fantastic. Uh, this one, and this one, and this one. Can I not fit a substation covering all of this? Yeah, I can. Alright, cool. We're just missing... Well, we haven't actually output the plastic yet. Uh, let's see. This can go here. Actually, no, it can't. Gonna need another sub. Unfortunate. There we go. And plastic. And then we're just missing glass. Uh, I've kind of set it up so that I need to put the glass up here. Can I do that? I could turn this belt around, bring it through here. It should be pretty easy.
Okay. That doesn't quite reach. That's a good fit. Can I move? There we go. Should I bring it through like so? Spaghetti Supreme. And we've run out of power again. What is this for? Did I... Was I supposed to have five industrial furnaces for copper? Um, no, I think this is just enough. All right, that's good. Oh, this was sending copper to the cannon, which I don't know why the ghost is missing now. Okay, that should be fine. Where's our glass? Uh, seriously, where's our glass? I think I actually did set it up right, it's just kind of slow. Yeah, it's because we don't have enough power yet. Okay, cool. I do see glass on the belt, just barely. Alright, so that is low density structures, which just leaves explosives and copper cable. Uh, copper cable is obviously pretty straightforward. I don't think we're going to be needing much of it. Um, I don't suppose... We can take advantage of an existing one of these. Get out of the way, rock. Assembly machine goes here. And copper cable goes here. And then uh, this would require only 1.2 per second to go at full speed. This is 1.32. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we'll only need one machine to support the cannons. If not, we'll have to come back and change the ratios a bit eventually. All right, so maybe it would be better to bring the heat shielding over here. Since it would be easy to get copper cable and LDS to some spot up here. Explosives requires the same as plastic, I think. Literally just coal and petroleum. Because sulfur only requires water and petroleum. So coal, water, and petroleum makes explosives. Which we can put around here somewhere. The piping is going to be a bit of a nuisance. Uh, sulfur is just water and... Oh! Explosives requires water, not petroleum. Interesting. And it definitely makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I could probably put this about here. Water's going to be a problem if I do that. Okay. 
Wait, didn't we already have sulfur down here? So we just need to bring it over this way. Which is only a bit of a nuisance. What do you mean it's spaghetti? That's a little bit annoying. Okay. Beautiful. If I didn't want to put a power pole, I could bring that all the way up there, but I'm not going to do that. Alright, and coal. And water. Neither of these quite line up with somewhere good. So that is only 714 kilowatts maximum. Only. So LDS explosives, copper cable, and heat shielding. I think we should bring the heat shielding over this way to make this stuff. is such a spaghetti mess. Uh, heat shielding. What is this? Steel. Uh, we could go up this way, I guess. stuff's in the way. And then got the cable and explosives. Explosives we can obviously just put down here. It's going to be on the wrong side of the belt if I do it like that. And maybe I should just move this machine down this way be a bit easier if we really want to we could efficiency module this stuff all right that is our cannon shells finally I guess we'll be moving this over here. And let me make sure I've actually placed all the cannons. There's one, two down here, three. We need four. We need five. I could always send... Nah, that's silly. Uh, one, two, three, we've already got. I'm pretty sure... I don't know, are we going to need to send glass back, or is it all going to be consumed by this? We probably will. Oh, 
Oh, and I forgot coal as well. So coal, glass, copper, steel, and we don't have any of these yet. Alright, so we need to get 27 big electric motors. Definitely sending the cannons uh, next time. What am I doing here? Also, I forgot that I didn't actually fully automate this with steel. Oh, that's right. We need to drop some of these in. And that's actually going to take a while. How much power do we have right now? We're nearly full on accumulator charge, so let's speed this up this time. Twenty-seven more of these to go. I could stop using the productivity modules, but it's not going to take that long. Let's make absolutely sure there's enough. I'm pretty sure there wasn't. That'll make another probably eight. Yeah, I think my math was pretty far off earlier. All good. One every three seconds, and we need, like, five more of these. We've also run out of small electric motors again. This seems like a chill place. Yes, indeed. Kara 1994. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're just about... We might just be finishing automating some core mining here and sending everything back to Nalvis. Although we've got a way to go before uh, we have this thing running on its own nuclear power, I think. Let's drop this in here. One, two three to go. Oh. No, I needed four more of these, didn't I? I'll wait until I actually have to craft the last one. It doesn't take very long. Okay. So we're going to want to... Maybe I should just... Since we've already got the steel next to this... Steel and glass. And copper. They're all right next to this machine already. So we should do those cannons down here. Like so. I don't think we need to send plastic back. We just have to send products that are the result of the main core components that get made by the um, uh, pulverizers. So we'll put this here. Uh, copper, steel, and glass. That's not quite right. Maybe I shouldn't have put those speed modules in there again. Mm. 
Okay. Not that this will be relevant in the long run. That's fine. Okay. So we'll have a belt going this way. So that's iron, copper, stone, vulcanite, uranium, and coal. Could I, I think I'll just put it here. Yeah, that should be fine. So is it really just one more of these I need to build? I think so. What a spaghetti. Green wire connects these two, same condition, and this as well, I think I need another substation. Whoops, not that one. I don't think that's connected. What is it? There's no power. That's why we're not getting a signal from this. I forgot how much power this thing uses. It's uh, 2 megawatts constantly. Kara, thank you very much for the follow. And... I could use a splitter here instead of a couple of inserters. Why don't I do it like this? Oh. So why are we not receiving... Because this thing doesn't have enough energy. Fair enough. Double check these are all set correctly. And this one is set to delivery cannon capsule coal. Fantastic. Oh, and don't forget to. Should I belt the uranium over instead of belting over the delivery cannon capsules? I think I should. Uh, Talos, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, let's put the uranium here, shall we? And connect that like so. And then we'll just belt the uranium over. Figure out exactly where I'm going to do that first. Right about here. That lines up well. That's a bit short for an underground. One more sub. And I think we're good. Although I might need to put something in place 
to make sure this thing has enough. No, it only needs five. That'll be fine. And then it outputs its uranium-238 here. Uh, although I never set up another production chain to uh, for this thing. That should be fine. That needs a filter. And... We need uranium-235. Where am I going to put the substation? I can move this. No, I can't. Uh, we need uranium-235 to stay in this machine as a priority. Actually, I don't think a circuit condition is necessary here. We can just do it like this. Because this has a the same stack size and speed as this thing. So it'll all go around in circles here. And only the excess will go past it. That should be okay. We've only got three uranium-235 here still. That is not very much. Hmm. Let's get this out of my inventory for now. And same for the sulfur. Plastic. That rest I'm not too worried about. So we're actually not sending... Oh, I haven't given him a target yet. Alright, cool. Let's start with you. Uh, this cannon... Delivery cannon chest right here. And uh, this one. And this one. So that is iron, copper, stone, all taken care of. Why are there no... Oh, I don't think the splitter is actually putting things on this side. Yeah. I could do it here, I guess. Or we could just do a pair of inserters. That's pretty easy. Hey, Nyron Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for all the, I'm guessing, auto hosts. Much appreciated. Alright. Fire the cannons. Fantastic. And that is not taking long to empty. Wow. This might actually create a whole lot of bot jobs. Although we're seeing it in a burst that's a bit unusual. Good. Can Master is doing his job. Nice. And uh, this one? Okay. I think that's all of them. I didn't set up this one, actually. Let's go clicking through them all and make sure. Target. Target. 
target, 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 and target. Right, so that is... That's the production side of things sorted out. So we are... Uh, oh, I forgot one more delivery cannon that I want to set up. I think I'll bring it down here where we've got the shells already. Um, maybe I'll put it right about here, actually. So I'll remove this for now. Oh. Along with the 100 core fragments. I think for now I will put those back into the system. I've got a training in the morning, so just going to leave a look, even though I should look at your circuits for interplanetary logistics. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good uh, training, I guess. Um... The main thing, I'm, I'm sure you've figured this out by now, but the main thing I've learned to watch out for with interplanetary logistics, if you're using cannons, is set them up so that they actually have to receive a signal in order to fire, not the absence of a signal. Uh, I don't suppose there's a good way to get this down here. Not really. Let's bring it over this way. And then... No, I didn't I want to prioritize it? Yeah, if I prioritize sending the core fragments themselves, the core fragments will have to come here eventually in order to produce the cannon shells, so that'll work just fine. Okay. So I do want to prioritize that. I don't suppose there's a good way to do it, just hijacking the belts I'm already using. Not without some circuit conditions. I think we'll just... Do it like this. And uh, this way. Work back from this conclusion. Uh, why don't we maybe do this? And then, like so. Perfect length. Not this time. Alright, so once we get back to fully charged accumulators, these will switch on again. I'm pretty sure at this point we're better off with fewer core mining drills, because we're bottlenecked on power. They switch off when power is insufficient, but... Well, when power's below 90% accumulated charge, they switch off. However, the reduction in efficiency... Why did the undo bring that over there? That's weird. Uh, the reduction in efficiency applies all the time, even when they're switched off. You get diminishing returns from coal mining drills. Uh, let's add another one of these, and one of 
these. And that'll be that. Power is not looking good right now. It's still kind of the middle of the night. So I think we're at the point where really all that's left is I wish I had brought enough uranium 235 to kickstart cover eggs. Uh, because I think this base might be able to power itself with uranium fuel cells. But unfortunately... We're not getting there yet. I need some iron plate here. Where do we get iron? It's all the way over here. Uh, okay. That's going to be a bit of a nuisance. We could do it here after all. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Okay, let's add a splitter to this. And... Probably priority, uh, prioritize it. Don't think it's going to be necessary, but I'd rather make sure. Let's go get some more belt. Oh, and let's check on medias on this planet. One landed in the ocean, but I think I'm going to assume until proven otherwise that we're still going to get biters from that. Do not fall for the vulcanite looking like biter nests on the map. I'm not seeing any biters. All right, I think we might be okay. Let's check over at the other nearby land masses. All right, so apparently if it lands in the water, you don't get a biter spawner out of it. Uh, one other thing I'm gonna have to a production chain I'm going to have to set up as well is media defense installation ammo and that's going to require green circuits and batteries. Green circuits are obviously not too hard. Copper cable and stone tablet. We've got stone tablets here. It looks like they're not keeping up actually. They are not keeping up actually. Also, I should beacon this stuff for power. Um, do I have beacons themselves still? I have one. I can make a couple. I have three efficiency three modules. I can do five more on the spot. Um, I need to move this for now. And I'm going to need another one of these, or I could remove the productivity modules from it. That would probably be okay. I mean, we are trying to get rid of stone after all. Let's do a copy-paste for 
an efficiency beacon. Although, if I move this, I could beacon this stuff as well. I don't particularly want to bother with moving it. But maybe... Maybe it's a good idea. Two point five megawatts. Hmm. Actually, if I do it like this, what's our rate here? We're bottlenecking on the stone brick as well. All right, that's not great. Why don't we just do this a bit more properly to begin with? Uh, still not enough stone brick. This should be enough. Stone tablet. That's way, way more than enough stone tablet. Oh, I think I included that part. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, where would a beacon go? Over here. This could work. This is going to be awkward no matter what. Alright, I really should just move this stuff down here, make it neater. We're going to need the extra stone tablets for green circuits as well. Oh, this is getting to be more of a spaghetti. I didn't realize I'd need to do that much more for media defense installation ammo. I probably should have. Also... Okay. Let's see how we can fit this together. I'm sure we can't do more than three... Well, maybe. We just need a couple of these. That is touching all of that. So what does this require? Steel, stone tablet, and sulfur. We've got sulfur here. Steel is here. Steel is stopped for some reason. Oh, that's probably got something to do with it. Wait, where is all this iron going? Nowhere. Okay. Sort of, what if we do the stone around like this? And then... Stone tablet goes here. Oh, that's actually good. Just move these over a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Nope, we're good. I think. It's going to be mostly on one side of the belt, but that's probably fine, since we're only doing 1.4 stone brick per second. And then... These have three inputs, one output. I don't know if I can... Might have to do some weird stuff with belts on this side. 
So let's say this is steel and sulfur. This will be stone tablet. And uh, the outputs would have to be something like that. I think that's alright. Put a substation. Give it two substations. Connect up here. Connect the stone. This stone out of my inventory. Not so fast, I guess. Should have just put it back up here. Okay. And stone tablets go uh, this way. And I probably should use an underground. Up here as well. Oh, that actually fits. Okay, so that is steel and sulfur that belongs on this belt over here. Steel is this belt. Don't need this part. Uh, we do need steel to keep going over here somewhere. Although I can't quite remember where. It's this one. So this is steel. Alright. We'll split off from that. And this goes here. What the? Okay, fine. And this one will be steel and sulfur. We maybe do it like this. Seems like we're really struggling for power still. Oh, it, it is morning. That's not as bad as it looks yet. And then heat shielding needs to go on this half of this belt. Okay, so that was heat shielding. I think it's already lined up correctly for the side of the belt. So let's see, it's on the right side of this, the south side of this. Yeah, that's already correct. Fantastic. Much better. So 
So what's happening with steel? Our rate of steel is half a steel per second, which is not a lot. Iron to steel is one to one. Uh, we are we are smelting enough iron to consume it all. Yep. We're not doing any core mining at the moment. That's probably an issue. Okay, that doesn't look good. We're still charging up. We're definitely suffering enough on power that one core miner is as good as it's going to get for now. Also, the fact that the delivery cannons themselves actually uh, require energy to charge. Yeah, that... Uh, that's a lot of energy all of a sudden. Oh, that's media defense, actually. But the delivery cannons, that's what I thought the delivery cannon... I, I thought that red thing was delivery cannon to start with. It's not nothing. Oh, and how did we do shooting that down? Two out of three meteors destroyed. Landed in the water. Alright. So what we need is enough uranium-235 that we get the virtuous cycle of making enough nuclear fuel to power this thing to do the core mining to produce the uranium to produce the fuel and so on but currently we've completely run out of fuel and it's just struggling along on solar even as we're spending production energy on sending all of this stuff back home maybe i should at a condition whereby, unless our accumulator charge is high, we don't fire the cannons. That might help. Let's pick up an accumulator. And I'll put it down over here. And what I'm going to do is just uh, A divided by 100 output Okay, first of all, before I do it, because order matters I'm going to do a negative one check signal from a constant combinator. And these inserters that pick up the delivery cannon capsules have to have a positive value for check signal. So that's going to stop all of them for now. And if I could have just used a decider combinator, but basically if the accumulator is full, we're going to output one check signal. So that's going to cancel that out and allow this to function as normal. Which is going to save us a bit of energy. Let's just double check all of the cannons are finished charging. seems good. Um, I want to check how much power, if any, they use while they're completely idle. 800 kilowatts. 100 kilowatts each. That really isn't much. But they do use an amount, 
when they fire. Um, we're only approaching like 60% accumulator charge before before it's night time. That's not a good sign. I guess I could maybe make some more solar panels. Oh, we need accumulators. Why don't I just uh, drop what accumulators I can for now? Although, no, accumulators were the problem earlier. But I don't think... I think at the moment we're bottlenecked on actual power production. So maybe I shouldn't have bothered with the productivity modules until later. I could go and remove them. That might be a really good idea, actually. Although, with the efficiency modules, everything that's beaconed is on the minimum power consumption. Except these. Using 2 megawatts each. So, I guess let's make a beacon. What the? And then... We need a whole lot of efficiency modules. Eight to be precise. We can manage five. Uh, I suspect if I start building these... Yeah, there we go. That's going to take a minute, but that'll save us like uh, six or seven megawatts. And these things seem to be active all the time. Oh, we're actually approaching full charge. So maybe we do need accumulators. Yeah, I thought the day would end like here. Okay, we're hitting 100%. So we do need more accumulators as well. Uh, maybe I'll build those first. And then... Can we stop with this stuff? Oh, I needed batteries for these. Whoops. I'll just leave the blueprint there. If you add more accumulators, aren't you going to have trouble with the miners that only start when the accumulators are at 90% charge? Uh, they only start when it's at 100% charge. They stop when it gets down to 90%. Um, but... I mean, we're having trouble with it as it is. Uh, we're bottlenecked on power. The 90% is just going to be a higher value if we add some accumulators. Okay, these take longer to make than I would have thought. 10 seconds each. That's uh, like 5 minutes and a little bit more to finish handcrafting these. As long as it would have taken, maybe it would have been a good idea to send some solar panels. I don't have the flat solar panels though, only the regular, I don't want to say bad ones, but we don't have that much space on this planet. Although I could do a solar field over here, I guess. Why are there power problems? Can't you just add solar panels and accumulators willy-nilly? Just join the stream so I'm out of the loop. Yeah, I just didn't bring that many. 
Uh, I really wish I had filled up the remainder with solar panels and accumulators for the cargo rocket instead of, like, uh, landfill or something. I could always give up and go back or send another rocket. The amount of time this is going to take, I'm very tempted. It is going to take a million bot jobs to... Um, Well, you know what? I'm almost tempted to just send way more stuff over here. We don't need any more landfill right now. Alright, let's put this on its own uh, combinator. And start with a thousand more of each. I mean, in the end, if I send all of this stuff here and it's sitting here not getting used, all it costs is time. And it'll be here when I want to upgrade this planet, basically. It'll cost time to... Oh, we definitely don't need to send the extra space capsule. Uh, we're also sort of developing a shopping list for what we're going to need when we go to other planets as well. Trying to refine that down to, um, kind of a universal package. String Weasel, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. As we gradually add accumulators. I don't think I will bother with those efficiency modules for now. Oh. My inventory is full. There we go. I keep forgetting to bring chemical plants. I think I won't need them and then I do. Yeah, it's better to bring a bit of everything, I think. Also... I really overestimated just how long the nuclear fuel would last. Uh, and I've got way too, I got way too used to on Nalvis, uh, not to mention in space, but in space it's different. You can't use beacons, at least not yet. Um, but on Nalvis, I got way too used to dealing with a massive scale of power production and usage, so putting beacons and productivity modules everywhere. I am seriously considering just removing the productivity modules for now. Um, all of this is produced infinitely anyway, so why would I worry about... Not getting production efficiency out of these. Originally, I put productivities here and speed modules. Because when we do have an overabundance of power, we'll want to make the most use out of the space that we have. But it's just going to take longer to get there than I realized. I also just realized I haven't yet sorted out a sink for the crude oil. Um, probably a good idea to make a power plant based on that. And we can use up the excess of fluids from over here for that as well. But yeah. Oh, I should use a module inserter. Or module outserter if you like. Uh, so nothing... 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 And I'm not sure what else. Let's just run that over for now. Kind of forgot that mod existed for a minute. 
I ended up setting up delivery cannons for 235 and 238 for off-planet power. Yeah, seems like a good idea. I could probably do that right now. But I'm also trying to get a feel for... Um, actually, productivity modules do make sense for the uranium. The rest is sort of something that we're trying to make sure we get rid of. Slash just for production of delivery cannon capsules. The whole point of coming to this planet was for infinite uranium. I don't know why, but the idea of shooting stuff to another planet with a cannon seems rather funny to me. What, what could possibly be funny or strange about that? What time of day is it? Oh, we're half charged already. I think, yeah, I think that was making a pretty big difference. Um, although, some of those were probably unnecessary, because I'm pretty sure they were already on the minimum uh, power consumption. I don't mind leaving the prods in these ones, but they spend most of their life switched off. Okay, yeah, no, we actually might still take a while to get to... Oh, this is already backed up anyway. I'm not going to worry about that one. These can stay. I'll take that back. Okay. And we need to set up green circuit production, battery production, and take the steel as a priority for the media defense ammo. One out of one media is destroyed. Nice. Hey, Christoph Game. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If the planetary body has no or scant atmosphere, mass drivers are actually a very practical method of giving something an initial kick. Yeah, for sure. Assuming you can solve the whole rail degradation problem. I love your core miner setup, by the way. It looks super cool. Thank you. Uh, if you like that, you'll probably like what we've got on Nalvis. Uh, so this is 8x8. 64 core miners. We're well and truly into the diminishing returns territory. Not much point doubling this. Uh, we don't produce enough uranium from doing regular core mining to power itself. <laughs> uh, and then we've got... This is overkill, but we've got a couple of blocks like this. Um doing all of the core fragment processing. It seems we've run into a problem. That is odd. Why has vulcanite consumption stopped? Uh, that is one thing that we did not set up for destruction, because vulcanite lags behind everything else. I think the vulcanite processing over here must have broken somehow. Let's see. No, we've just got tons and tons of vulcanite blocks. Surely you're not going to tell me that the smelters don't need any vulcanite. Uh, I may have missed the minor detail of making the new Omni smelters ask for vulcanite blocks from LTN. Let's, uh, let's remedy that, shall we? 
Just a couple of train loads. In a few seconds we should see this light go yellow. That indicates that LTN just generated a train schedule to deliver Vulcanite blocks over here. Unless there are no trains in the depots, which I don't expect to be the case. Oh, there's plenty of trains in the depots. Oh, the combinator is switched off as well. Okay. About five seconds should be all it takes. There it goes. Alright. And let's update this one. And this one. And this one as well. So now all of the Omni Smelters, the new Omni Smelters, will actually use Vulcanite blocks. Whoops. I have one core miner on Nalvis, and I'm preparing to go to other worlds so I can set up material science. You have a problem. <laughs> Yeah, my problem is not enough core mining. I think you've gone from core mining to core removing. Yes, indeed. Paperclip maximizing. Go. Okay. How's our power doing here now? We're fully charged. It is going to be nighttime shortly. Why did flat solar panel production just drop? Oh, because we're actually reaching... Yeah, we're actually getting fully charged. Okay. That's probably a good sign. Accumulators are spiking during the day, which is a bit weird. I think it's... Oh, because we're actually launching the cannons. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I think this is working correctly. As soon as it gets to 100... We output a tick. Any second now. There it goes. And once the cannon fires, or a few cannons fire, we're not going to have a fully charged accumulator. And tick is gone. So this is part of the base designed to work without nuclear power. Um, well, this planet here, uh, Telobai, it, this little moon is the closest one we have that gives us infinite uranium ore. So what I want to set up here is core mining with, that's going to be self-powering with uranium and send the excess of uranium back to Nalvis. Well, actually, we're going to send um, the ore fragments themselves back to Nalvis, but also uranium, processed uranium itself, to make sure that doesn't get backed up. Um, so then we've got our nuclear fuel here. We're going to need to add some roboports. So that we can grab that and take it all the way back down here. That should do it. Oh, that's a pain. I'm also going to have to set up production of logistic bots, I think. If, if I'm serious about having this thing self-sufficient for indefinitely, like over any period of time, uh, bots, logistic bots are going to die. What are they doing? Oh. They're, all of a sudden they're all picking up the waste. I'm not sure why. Probably because we just connected that logistic network. That makes sense. Okay, that should be fine. And suddenly they're chasing me everywhere. 
I don't actually want you guys spending the energy unless I'm right next to the storage chests. Meanwhile, uh, we've got... It's hard to see F and E with the way the numbers are shown. 126 stacks still available here. Uh, we're still waiting on uranium fuel cells to be delivered. Did I... I don't think I actually automated uranium fuel cells being delivered here. Whoops. Here I was thinking that the uranium fuel would last a very long time. This is actually full, that's good. Um, I think I can remotely set this up to bring us some I'll need to make these filter inserters and I can set this up to bring us uranium fuel cells except then I'll have to read the logistic network to know how much we need which means I should probably... I'll just take advantage of this RoboPort. Uh, let's see... Decider Combinator... Hmm... Yeah, no. Decider Combinator, Arithmetic Combinator... If uranium fuel cells are below some amount, output one uranium fuel cell times negative however many we want to ask LTN for, and pass it through to the logistic train stop input. Uh, uranium fuel cell. If we're less than uh, less than a thousand. Ask for, uh, one cargo wagon full. And that should be a negative, actually. There we go. I think there was a train on the way already, but the next one, that's a bit odd. You are asking for Uranium-238. Oh, did I not? No? Hold on. Let's see. Combinators, uh, the inserters are set up correctly. We're asking for three more uranium 238, each divided by two. Oh, there's your problem. Oh, I never thought of this. Yeah, bec uh, okay, uh, just skip this step for now. Because I set this up so that small trains can pick up here as well, we need to change the circuitry so that if the remainder of dividing by all of these chests is less than four, we need a couple more combinators to deal with that. I'm surprised that it worked so well apart from that, though. Okay, what are we doing? How's our power been over here? Looking pretty good, considering the sun is still coming up and accumulator charge is almost full, actually. So 
So as soon as this hits 100%, switch on. And it's going to continue until we drop down to 90, which is happening surprisingly quickly. Yeah, surprisingly quickly. We just get a burst of uh, uranium-238, uh, not uranium-238, core fragments. Actually, I keep seeing this dip, and then when I look... What's happening? Accumulator, accumulator... Oh, it's the delivery cannons, that's why. Okay, so we can actually keep going with the core miner for a while. It looks like one core miner is as good as it gets while we're on solar. And that's not too bad, actually. So the uranium core fragments get turned into a little bit of uranium and stone and regular core fragments. Then we deal with those down here. Then we deal with all of these outputs over here. And various, they go off in various directions to produce different things. And we need to have a delivery cannon to get rid of whatever makes it to the end. Um, because if we run out of storage space for any one of these things, that's the end of our production of uranium. Speaking of which, is there an actual uranium mine on this planet? 4.5 million, that's pretty good. I will need to make some more uh, centrifuges, or I could just send them. Still got quite a few stacks. Let's just bring a hundred of these over. And I should probably ask for a lot more solar panels, or maybe we've run out of them. Nope, we're fine. Oh, there's way more inventory space than I really realized. Okay, let's go nuts. 2000 and 2000. Have we got two out of two meteors destroyed? Okay, good. I wonder if I can get away with adding some more meteor defense installations. I feel like four or five would probably be a lot more consistent in shooting them down. But that's another... 5 or 10 megawatts constantly being used. We'll wait for... We'll wait until the next rocket comes, put down a lot more solar panels. And... See how we go. Oh, I should also... Ask for some uranium, I guess. That's not the right rocket. Look. Do we even have 235 here? Let's ask for a couple of hundred. And... We're not going to know if we've got it until... There, there isn't a consistent supply of 
U-235 being sent here. We should have some lying around, though, I think. I'm not sure. Kind of hard to check without adding some circuitry. Where's our chests? Here's one. 2.2k uranium-238. Do we have some in this uh, coverick system? 17. That's not a whole lot. Alright, fine. I'll add a circuit. Let's see. I could just... No. Let's just connect this here. And we'll set it to... Uranium-235 greater than zero output uranium-235. Input count. And then... Connect this to something. Oh, we've got 1.1k. Alright, cool. That'll be pretty easy this time. I guess it's not a bad idea to send the ammo as well. Although I would have thought that was loaded already. Hmm. Why isn't it loaded already? I know we're producing ammo automatically. And we're producing these automatically. Oh, was it just that far down on the list of stuff to load? I guess so. Apparently we've run out of centrifuges as well. Nope, they're coming. Okay, then. Uranium continues to very, very slowly approach Coverex enrichment. Could probably stand to add a little wire here. To say, don't let anything through unless half the belt is covered in uranium-238. The uranium completes its mystical journey. And... Let's just check this is going to work. Yep, seems good. Fantastic. All right. What else are we waiting on at the moment? Just double check there aren't any biters here. I think we're fine. Are we done loading? Not even close. Asking for uranium fuel cells. 
I think the same problem is happening right now. No, that's not true because this station doesn't have any such problems. It's just traffic. And probably the fact that... There's only a couple of trains allowed to come to this station at a time. And there's already two scheduled to pick up a tiny amount to go to the uh, nuclear plants. Okay then. So really we're waiting on this rocket to get loaded, which is waiting on a little bit of nuclear fuel. Which is waiting on a train, which I don't know why it's not getting scheduled right now to come to this stop. Wait, is negative 2k... This stuff only stacks to 50, right? Yeah, that should be right. Request stack threshold is f shouldn't be 50, it should be 40. Give it a few seconds. And I'm still not sure why we're not getting... Oh, here it comes. Fantastic. Alright, good. Let's just double check we're not going to cause any traffic jams over here by sending too many trains there at once. I don't think so. Especially considering how quickly most of these pickups happen. All right, I'm going to throw in a little save, just in case. And take a short break. In the meantime, here is a train. Back in a minute.
am I muted? I just took a short break. No worries, Kristoff. Train? Train. Hey, and it's loading up our uh, uranium fuel cells. Fantastic. Maybe I should add, like, some elevator music or something when I do that. Although, I'm a little bit surprised just for once I didn't come back to a yay train. It's taking a surprisingly long time to load. I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. It's only one stack in Zoda with a stack size of eight. Uh-oh. Solyndra, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Veldak must not be here. Yeah. Or oh, Veldak is bankrupt. Awesome cat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. This is surprisingly slow, but as soon as it gets back to base, we can continue loading our rocket. We haven't had any biters here yet, have we? No. Good. I can't really leave... I can't really leave this planet until we've got it secure from... Biter Meteors. Um, so let's get the electronic circuits set up. Uh, we're gonna need... We're gonna need more copper than... more copper cable than that. If anything, we're going to need to prioritize the production of the ammo over sending stuff away, I think. Although, if worst comes to worst, okay, either condition could stop everything. If we don't stop the meteors coming down, this, get, this all gets destroyed. If we... Um, if we don't send stuff away from the planet, eventually it gets backed up and stops producing, and therefore we stop producing the anti-media ammo, and then we get destroyed. So, that's fun. Um, nevertheless, what I'm going to do is... This inserter is only going to be active while this inserter has something in its hand. So we're going to prioritize the cable coming down this way. You can always make another automatic resource deletion pad. That's a lot of work as well, yeah. But, I mean, that uses delivery cannons anyway, so we may as well just um, send them back to Nalvis. Uh, where should I do green circuits? Maybe here? I think we're massively overproducing stone tablets, that's good. Can I maybe fit... Like so. Green circuits with stone tablet. That goes here, actually. This is probably super overkill. Let's see. Stone tablet. That would use 30 per second. So yeah. We could probably add some stone tablet machines. What's the rate between these? It's actually exact. So I'd have to add even more furnaces. 
to support this at full speed. I don't think we're going to need this many. But I'll leave space for them in any case. Um, let's put that there. And then pop a cable. Just put it on that side of the belt. Come to think of it, I'm building exactly one copper cable machine over here, and all of these, that's going to be ridiculously overkill. We only need 10 circuits for each media defense installation ammo. So it might not be that ridiculous. If it is, I'll just add some more machines to make copper cable. I'm going to have to go here. Let's get rid of this cliff. And then there's just one more PITA to set up we have our ammo. That's batteries. Wait, let me just check this goes where I think it does. Where's my cable? There it is. Alright, good. And then output belt. Well, I'm not even sure which direction I want it to go yet. Uh, batteries. Batteries require iron, copper, and sulfuric acid, which requires iron. There it is. Where's fluids? Oh, here. Iron, sulfur, and water. We've got sulfur up here somewhere. And we've got iron close by. It's right here, actually. In fact, it's currently not going anywhere. It was supposed to go here. Okay, that's iron and sulfur, and then we just add water. Right about here. Splitter. Let's add a tank, I guess. Such, such unforgivable spaghetti. Probably will put productivities in this one. And... Yeah, I don't know why I bothered removing the productivities from things that are going to be at negative 80%. Okay, the industrial furnaces aren't. If I only put four productivities in them, they're still at negative 80% power. Uh, probably I should run a module inserter over that. So 
So we just gained a whole lot of productivity for no extra power. That's pretty good. What are you doing? No, you can keep the productivities. Not worried about that one. And... Rods in these ones are going to be effectively free. Okay. Anyway, let's not get carried away. We're focusing on sulfuric acid first. That's not going to work. Where am I going to put the pipe? Let's bring this thing down a bit. Maybe. Sulfuric acid. This is fine. Where do I actually want the sulfuric acid to go? Into batteries. Batteries require iron, copper, and sulfuric acid. Copper plate is all the way over here. Uh, this is going to be a pain no matter what. I guess we'll just put it somewhere where we've got a bit of space. And... Oh, that'll work. I think. That's actually perfect. and iron is going to have to go all the way around here oh wait yeah no it is all right when spaghetti attacks where's our water it's all the way over here i think we've got enough Wait, I remember sulfuric acid consuming a lot of water, so let's perhaps... I actually can't put another pump anywhere here. Seriously. Oh, I see. For some reason copy-paste doesn't reveal that. Okay. Working backward from there. Do it like this. Let's make it look a bit more uniform. And we'll need an offshore pump. And because this is space exploration, we need to power it. Alright, so that's our sulfuric acid, which we'll need to put in here. And then iron plate. And that's our batteries. Okay, we have everything we need to make uh, media defense installation ammo, electronic circuits, battery, and steel. So much spaghetti, yes indeed. You always make another automatic resource. Oh, and always make a deletion pad. Yeah, that's right. I kind of misread that, so I read it again. Uh, let's see. Green circuit, battery, and steel. 
We got green circuits here, batteries are here. And steel, I think, is already going through this way. No, that's a uh, heat shielding. It's hard to know where steel is when it's not actually on the belt. Oh, didn't I put steel over there? Yes. So we can get rid of this splitter. Alright, where's that steel? It's on two belts, including this one. Okay, cool. So we just naturally put one of these right here. And like so. And I think I'll put a condition. This part has to be saturated before we let any steel through. And green circuits naturally go up here. Actually, let's move that over a little bit. That's not quite right. That's not quite right. Okay. And this is literally the only reason we're making green circuits here for now. Alright, so we should probably move our media defense cannons down here. I think I have some... well, I know I have another several of them somewhere. Not on me though. But let's figure out where the ammo is going to go. That just barely reaches. That'll do, I guess. And then... Actually, we'll have a chain of them. Should I just steal the ones we've already got? Actually, I want to see if the power network can handle a few more anyway. So where did I put them? Here's the ammo. Um... Are they up here somewhere? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. Let's go. And we'll put those right... Up. That is huge. Right about here. goes here. Alright, how's our power looking? Definitely not good for the moment, I should think. Actually, pretty good. We need to wait at least a day to see what it's actually like. Rocket survivability got finished. I think we queued up three or four of these. If those are the big cannons, then it doesn't matter where you place them. They cover the entire planet. Yes, indeed. West X. Uh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, just put. Just thinking about where to put them because I want to have everything running off of belts. With the one exception of logistic bots bringing the nuclear fuel over here. 
Um, I think as long as you keep logistic bots below a certain amount, they might not die. I'm not 100% sure of that. Anyway, considering these things are still charging and our power is actually looking okay, and they use 20 megawatts while recharging, I think we might actually be able to put most, if not all, of these cannons back in place. Which will be nice. Wait. Oh, that's right. I have hardly any regular solar panels here. Uh, a hundred for... No, it's actually two hundred... Okay, I know the flat ones are bigger, but... And we have done the math to figure out the difference in efficiency. But still, 2.34 times as many solar panels, and look at how much more power that is. Wow. Wow. Okay, once this is fully charged, we might move our existing cannons. And I think I'll add some... Just like this. Let's just do the same thing again. And we're going to have to use medium poles for this, I'm afraid. That doesn't look right. Alright, let's grab some of our friends from up here. It'd be nice if I could get all that energy back. Uh, let's make some room. I'm pretty sure adding all of these turrets is going to be way too much power. But we'll see. One at a time. Are they still charging? No, we're good. Let's also grab the ammo that we've got, if I can remember where it was. And then I'll trade some things here. And just put all that in place. Oops, nope, 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 not that. Rip. Did I get them all? Okay. So we got six here, three here. And I don't know where the rest of them went. One, two, three, four, five, six media installation cannons. Three are here. I'm sure we brought 12. In fact, I remember counting them just a little while ago. So what happened to... They're not on this belt still, right? Doesn't look like it. Oh, they were, I think. Nope, that's still just six. And that bunch of pairs of two means that we've reached what the insert is putting in. 
Where did my cannons go? Did the bots take them? Can I make a request for them? We are in the robo network. Uh, media defense installation. Make it 10. Um, yeah, I don't... Oh, are they bringing... Those aren't cannons. I don't know where they went. Didn't I just have them? Or did I just hallucinate thinking I had more cannons? Well, it's morning. I think that's as good a time as any to test if we can handle six of these. Charge is going down. We're at less than 50% solar power at the moment. This is while they're recharging, though. I think we're going to get a little blackout here. Yeah, I'm actually really confused. Do you have a mod list for your game somewhere? Yep. Uh, there you go. Nagel Pistol. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. No worries. Um, so we know the cannons aren't in here. The bots would have brought them. And... I know from this that we definitely brought 12 of them with us. Plus S. I think I might have set it up so that mod works as well, but it's on a timer. Oh, maybe they dropped on the ground because my inventory was full. They're going to be hard to spot if that's the case. Is this where they were? Yeah, that's the chest. I do not see them. Use a deletion planner over the area? Yeah, good idea. Uh, deconstruction planner item on ground. Let's use the nav set. Oh, I found them. They're here somewhere. Yep. Do you see them? Because I don't. There they are. They're literally hidden in the rocks. Oh my god. Just mark them for pickup and then use your bots? Yes, indeed. Wow. I would never have seen that. Not even once. Uh, I guess we're running the experiment for whether we can manage 12 of these all of a sudden. My... I'm, my instinct is no, and it doesn't help that we're charging six of them all at once. Once this hits zero, we're going to have problems because these ones are going to start uncharging. Uh, maybe I should remove some of these. I, I definitely should. I think we're still going to hit zero. Oh. Okay. We're very slowly losing power still. 
Once it hits zero, we're going to see these other ones start to lose charge, I think. No, it's actually... These ones are just going to charge slower. Hmm. We might just be able to handle having 12 of them. As long as they don't actually fire all at once. Which... I mean, they never do, right? We've had 12 on Nalvis for a long time, and it's... I don't think it's ever come close to 12 of them firing, it's just extra insurance. There goes a rocket. A new satellite was launched, but it did not find anything new. There may be more to find around other stars, hint hint. We still get satellite telemetry, right? I presume. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. E. I think six of these might be the maximum that we can really have. Nine might be a little excessive. But since we've only had two or three medias coming at a time, that should be enough, but I really don't want to, like, gamble with it. Once the rocket comes with more solar panels, it'll be uh, that much less of a worry as well. We're actually loading the last of... Oh, we're full. Should we just send the rocket as is? I think we probably should. Oh, let's um let's make sure we set up a uh landing pad first, of course. And I think I left it in here. Yeah, it is. Uh, Tullabai landing pad? Sure. Tullabai landing pad. Okay. How much nuclear fuel are we sending? Quite a bit, and more importantly, a couple of stacks of T-35. That'll get Coverex going. Maybe that's enough? And away we go. And two seconds later. Wait, where's the cargo? A cargo rocket has sustained damage in transit and is off course. Additional rocket survivability and cargo safety research advised. You're kidding. Did we just lose the entire rocket except for a space capsule? Oh, that hurts. I mean, it's all going to get resupplied automatically and it's just time, but still... That is... savage. Big oof? Yes, indeed. Hey, Baker Staunch. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and What? What overconfidence? I knew there was a minuscule chance of that. <laughs> Uh, Baker, we just lost a rocket. It was 1% chance. Rip. We've, we've maybe launched, like, 20 rockets. Maybe. At most. 
That means the cargo pods may have simply been dumped somewhere else on the world. Interesting. Bonk. I don't think it normally loses the cargo, just some of it. Alright, let's have a... Oh. Okay. I probably would have noticed a bit sooner uh, that my bots were doing all this work. If I didn't think that I'd just lost an entire uh, rocket. Do we even have the storage space for this? We'll see. It should never lose items that can only be single stacked, but stacked items can lose some of the stack. Hey, high speed. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, so much for the landing pad. Let's put it a bit further up here. I don't really feel like... Okay, that's a slight lie. I do feel like trying to find our Uranium-235. I'll let the bots handle the rest. There it is. And we lost a little bit of 235. More importantly, we've got way more than enough to get Coverix going. Uh, so let's do that. And I guess you can go down here. Um, we're still waiting on more 238, weirdly enough. Oh, that's probably why. I am well trying to figure out how to get your name in my base. <laughs> Uh, I figured I was getting it in Mucky's base, but cool, thanks. Good luck. Can't wait to see it. So you're going to be building uh, the characters out of blue circuit builds, right? Alright, that is going to be our 238. And... Just a little bit sent through. Perfect. Good. Fantastic. So now we've got... Nuclear fuel. Or we will, anyway. I don't have redeems and no... Not out of blue circuit bills. Okay. I'm using... Dectorio. So I have many items to choose from. Interesting. A hey, King Fnub. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so speaking of uranium, we do have some fuel. I'll grab that. And the bots will be delivering it quite soon. By which I mean stealing it from me. Uh, where are the logistic bots? Oh, there's some. And here come the rest. Fantastic. And of course they veer off course to get recharged. Oh, that's right. I wanted to figure out a way that we could use, like, a latch system or something, so that when the uh, steam drops below 2.5k, we put in exactly one unit of fuel into each of these until it drops below 2.5k again. Instead of what we've got here, where we're probably going to stack to 5. But 
it'll resolve itself anyway. I still haven't figured out how that circuit's going to work. Unlimited power? Yes, indeed. And that means we can produce uranium faster, which means we can have more nuclear reactor, hopefully. Uh, accumulator charge, there it goes. Alright, I may be jumping the gun a little bit, but let's see if we can get away with a bit more uh, where did I put it? it's not in my inventory is it in a steel chest? I thought I left the core mining drills around here somewhere we also probably sent a bunch of extra ones because I forgot to change that, or just didn't bother. Core mining drill. Where could it be? I've seen such a system. It conserved on fuel very well. Nice. It's also just cool when, I mean, this system will do it, but um, it's also just cool when you see all of the inserters insert the uranium fuel cells at the exact same time. Currently, we are burning through fuel and have a lot uh, to get through, so that's not going to happen for a little while. I think this is probably... Well, we've got all this infrastructure in place, so probably all we need to increase now is the actual core mining drills. So we'll have a relatively easy time of, you know, consuming more power to get more stuff. Oh. Okay. I also forgot to set the target for this one. Let's do that for now. This will be a... No, don't take that away. How dare you. This is a momentous occasion. Our first uh, uranium core fragments sent back to Nalvis. And away they go. Fantastic. Okay. I still don't know where to look for those core mining drills. Oh, I remember. Because they were taking up space in my inventory and I was picking up other things that take up an entire slot. All right, let's see how this does with our current power regime. Uh, that's a lot. In fact, that's the vast majority of everything. Except for media defense installations. We are still at a surplus of energy, though, at least during the day. Steam turbines are producing double what the flat solar panels do during the day. Okay. I think we should keep going. Um, but I want to get another nuclear plant set up. What was it I wanted to change about this design? Oh yeah, add some more solar panels. It's not going to matter at the moment. So let's put another one of these over here. It's definitely not going to run into any land. Okay. 
and I actually I guess it would make just as much sense to have this over here. I don't think it matters if the heat pipes touch each other. I could be wrong. Why don't we just leave a little bit of a gap? All right, we're going to need some landfill, and I'll chuck this in storage for now. Also, I guess the bots will eventually auto-build this, but first they're going to pick up all this stuff. They treat that as a higher priority, I think. And I should probably use some more RoboPorts since my batteries are full. Meanwhile, on Nalvis, uh, I definitely need to adjust some of these numbers because we were still trying to load I forget what when this was ready to launch because it was full. Uh, let's see. The one thing I felt like I brought more than I needed of was landfill. But this blueprint does require... 6.5k. Let's call it 6.6. .6. And the rest... I could have brought LDS, heat shielding, more batteries, more accumulators, definitely. We already added those here. I don't know, this is the kind of thing I might want to really take my time with uh, thinking through, like, off-stream. That is getting built faster than I expected. And I've already run out of... The logistic bots are bringing me the landfill. That's actually a pretty good way to do it. Uh, we've got our uranium here. Fantastic. Oh, there was something down here. We've probably got a train stuck here by now. I kind of hope we do. Yes. Um, I had an idea as to... It might be possible to patch this without physically... Well, I can change some wires with... Uh... It's a navigation satellite, but I don't think I need to add any combinators. What I want to change this to do is just set each of the remainder inserters to just stack size 1. If there is... I was going to say if there's a remainder... But that's not quite right. I want to set it up so that if each divided by 24 is 0, as in there's only a remainder left, um, then we just set the stack size of the remainder inserters to 1. And don't worry about like using set filters to enable or disable them. So 
so how would I do that without actually having to be here? I don't know if I can. Because if this was like 25, this would output something and this would output something. That's probably okay. Uh, I think I need to change this to a decider, actually. This would have to be anything greater than zero output 1s. Hmm. Is there a mathematical function in here that would turn any result into one? I don't think so. There isn't like a normalize function in the arithmetic combinator. No, I'm gonna have to physically go over there. But I've had I've had a couple of ideas about how I could make a more robust precise loader system. It would be slightly slower, but it's never going to get jammed like this. Um, even though, like, it is my fault that this is set up so that we will get a train coming here with... It turns out to be very consistent. It loads up uh, 3,997 uranium-238 and is waiting for the rest. But we've had that sort of thing happen at other stations before, and more importantly, if one thing goes wrong somewhere else, it can cause a domino effect. Um, so even if it's technically works correctly and should never have problems, um, I don't like that so much. What I want to set up instead is just load at full speed until we get down to, say, uh, 48, I think it is. We, we load at full speed and set the stack sizes of all of these stack inserters based on how much is left. And then once it drops to a point where we should go to the remainders, um, or maybe a bit before that even, we just set those to stack size 1. And just fill the rest in just that little bit slower. And I'm thinking by sacrificing just like a, literally a second or two at the end, if we tweak it a bit, we could probably make a precise loading system that never, that that's more robust, that doesn't fall over uh, under certain circumstances. Even if those circumstances do have to involve some other problem happening somewhere else. This is actually taking a bit longer than I thought it would from this point on. Let's go pick up some more uh, landfill. Yoink. And I think we're running out. Except that, of course, there's plenty of it over here somewhere. Or... Maybe not? That's weird. Are we actually running out of landfill? It's possible. Well, we've got plenty of stone to turn into landfill. Uh, why don't we do that? I don't think you can prod this. Nope. Let's make this a requester stone. Fill it up. I'll do for now. And 
and I guess we'll let our butts drop off what's left. The rest is going to get placed, uh, well, almost all of the rest is going to get placed automatically. By which I mean almost half of the rest of it. Rip. Actually, turn off RoboPort. I want to, I mean, yeah, turn off RoboPort. I want to make sure we can place this RoboPort right here. So that has to go down there. Careful. Nice. So that just goes slightly below where I am, I think. And the substation goes here. Is it a substation? Yeah, we need to add some big poles to this. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. That'll do for now. So as long as we provide enough stone to the logistic network, this will eventually get built all the way down to here. That's going to take its sweet time, actually. I think I would like to remove my request for landfill for now, actually. Just let the bots build that directly. A C for cat. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Soulburn, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, where are we going? It is actually a lot of work for the bots to pick this stuff up. I don't really want to bother picking it up myself still. Although I could do it this way. Let the construction bots pick things up and then I'll go sit next to the storage chests. Uh, more SE? What's wrong with SE? It was a good stream, almost got lost in space twice. Yikes. Sifa was learning languages. Interesting. Okay, why is all of this in my inventory? Oh boy. Uh, zero, please. Turns out there's many words for fish. Especially from a culture where they had to rely a lot on fishing, I'm guessing. Or miners. Uh, this stuff can go here. Wow. Those are some eye-catching letters. Okay. So where are we? How's our power been doing with nine of these? Pretty good, I think. 
really good, actually. Uh, we've got a lot more solar panels now, so we can think about placing those. Let's go do that. So fish in check is Reba? Is that right? Reba? It's same as in Russian. Interesting. And where are my robots? Oh, here they come, I think. Yeah, there they are. Same in Polish. I mean, yeah, I guess it's not surprising you have uh, shared words between places that were geographically not that separated. All Slavic languages. Fish in Norwegian is fisk. I may be misremembering, but I think that reminds me of... Um, Dungeons of Dreadmore. What I consider four best emotes I have. Nice. Clown Stego. I need to pick up some more stuff. Probably you should pick up some more cliff explosives as well. In fact, there goes the rest of it. All right, let's place these first. That was quick. Nothing wrong with a cat and a heart, absolutely. I think my butts are on vacation again. Stego and Fine are the emotes, emotes I pestered the streamer into adding for me. <laughs> nice. I should check if I've got another emote slot or two. I think I might. Or maybe just another, like, tier 1 slot. Doof. I like the glove emote. It's invasive. Yikes. It's a good replacement for loot. <laughs> Oh dear. Let's grab some more cliff explosives, even though I don't need it just yet. And I don't need this many bots right now. I vote for spaghetti emote. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I just need a nice... Uh, cartoonish, kind of easy to look at. I need to make it easy to look at. Like with bold, uh, bold lines between the spaghetti or something, but not many pixels to work with. Guess we'll keep adding solar for now, while the bots do their thing. And I'm hoping that after we do this, maybe even already, we've got plenty of power for at least 12 media defense installations. I think we probably do. Considering the accumulators have not been dropping below like 90% for quite a while, I think we're probably fine. Although, it remains to be seen if we're going to be able to produce... I mean, I would imagine we can produce um, uranium fuel cells fast enough just from coal mining to power itself, because we could kind of almost do that on Nalvis. Like, we were very slowly running out. 
I love to do haha -ha sweet haha -ha ball when TTS is available. Seems good. Oh, there go my bots again. Muted. Rip. Thanks for pointing that out. Okay. Bots go brr. Yes, you're muted. Oh no. EPS is actually getting low enough for me to bother with this. Nice. Okay, I didn't think it would go back up to 58 just from that. Wow. I really should try and set up a server to do the streaming stuff. And we got back to 60. 20% increase. We can't hear you? That's not true. I can see the microphone volume thing right now. You lie to me. <laughs> and more solar. What's our ratio for like regular solar panels to the big ones? Not very good. I really need to... Uh, one of the first things I need to remember to do when I go back to Nalvis and Nalvis Orbit... Maybe I can do it remotely, actually. Um, but I need to set up automation of the uh, multispectral mirrors getting sent back down to... Actually, I can't remember if I can make the flat solar panels themselves, they have to be in space, okay. So we want to make the flat solar panels and send them back to Nalvis. Because, my goodness, they are so much more efficient in multiple ways. Although they do only stack to 20. But I'm going to go out on a limb before I do the math and guess that you still get more power out of 20 flat solar panels than um, 50 regular ones. Let's see, 391 versus... Well, let's check Nelvis, that's going to be round numbers. 400 versus 60. Oh, there goes a rocket. Uh, let's see. 60 times 50 is 3k. 400 times 20 is more than double that. That is so much better. I can. I can hear T-Hex. It's fine. I did iterative approach to power. Add solar panel blocks or accumulator blocks until it works. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Um, but yeah, especially in terms of 
figuring out a set of things to bring to a planet. Um, the fact that on top of everything else, it's more stack efficient to bring flat solar panels. Uh, sold 1000%. Oh yeah, we have all these accumulators that we didn't place from earlier as well. Alright, so we seem to be chugging along just fine with four core miners. What if we get dangerous and go to eight? Something I haven't figured out yet is... I would particularly like to set up a circuit to do this. I did it with, um, where is it? This little circuit right here measures the accumulator charge for a little isolated power network that's never going to touch anything else. And I wanted to figure out exactly how low the accumulator charge would get at night. So this is a memory cell that does exactly that. Um, I think I also added something to reset it every few minutes or something. I could be wrong. Uh, but basically, uh, it compares the charge in the accumulator to the charge in the ac accumulator one tick ago. And if it's lower, we pulse it through to a memory cell. Um, although the fact that I saw this dropping right now makes me wonder how it ever worked. Currently our accumulator is at... Oh, is this switched on? No? Okay, so it's going all the way down to 20 something percent. 28 percent. I think it's about to climb back up. 29. Yeah, this is holding on to 28. So it seems to be working. I have no idea why when we went to look at it right now, um, this was actually in the process of going lower. It's on its own power network, so it's not like... It's not like it managed to lose power. Anyway, I was thinking about... Wouldn't it be cool if I could set up some kind of circuit somehow to figure out... If, if we're using a power switch to limit power to the core mining drills, where is the sweet spot? Because if we add more power drills... If, if we're bottlenecked on power, which... I guess with core mining, you're always bottlenecked on power. Um, but we get diminishing returns the more we add core mining drills, and we're controlling this with a power switch. Where exactly do we get the most... Um, uh, the highest possible amount of core fragments? Because even when they're switched off, each extant core mining drill reduces the efficiency of every other core mining drill. If I could set up some kind of circuit or something that would tell me exactly how many core mining drills I should have with the current power setup, like measure it over a day or two, uh, that would be pretty cool. But as it is, we just keep adding drills until we see the core miners switching on and off more often than we would like, and then start removing some. I do find it odd the Iridium recipe for multi-spec mirrors seems worse. Well, let's have a look. Uh, let's see. Heat shielding, LDS glass, steel plate, lubricant, chemical gel. 
LDS glass. So Iridium plate replaces steel and heat shielding. Three steel, one heat shielding. It requires less glass as well. Two Iridium plate. Takes just as long. LDS ratio is the same. One third as much glass. No steel. No heat shielding. I don't really have a feel. F oh, and it less half as much lubricant. Five times as much chemical gel. I don't have a feel for how difficult it is to get iridium plate. Like, obviously, it depends. But... It does sound questionable at best. Like it sounds like a side grade, but you have to go, you have to have that extra resource. Have some of the excess resources from the core miners go into a factory for more solar panels slash accumulators. Um, well, that would just be whatever we get out of this stuff. Um, let me just double check yeah, we're definitely not... We're definitely bottlenecking on the actual ore fragments still, right? Or... The way I set up these belts, this has got to get backed up before it goes to these other ones. It's going to take a minute. How's our power looking? Uh, pretty good, I think. Core mining drills, uh, they've been switching on and off a little bit, I think, or maybe those little dips are because, I think those little dips are just because there's like, uh, a resource to output, but there's something in the way sometimes. Because they don't have any, like, storage. Hmm. If we turn this here... Oh, okay. I wonder why we see this flick past 50,000 times a second. When it's actually like 0.6 per second that each drill is creating. Whatever the case... We are drilling, and our accumulator charge is remaining constant during the day. Uh, I think we could probably dare to add a little bit more. The sulfur's in the way. Just because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this here, we'll do this for now. And how's our ratio looking here? We're not gaining core fragments just yet. And that's without speed modules or anything. I should probably... I should definitely have kept productivities in these. We've got efficiency modules, so we're not... Um, we're not paying any power for the productivity here at all. I'm probably going to back up on core fragments with this. Yeah. I could swap out some speed modules. That's a bit closer. Slightly overdone it. That's actually perfect. Okay. And then, how does this look? Not eating the core fragments fast enough. How about this? That's way faster. <laughs> 
and 100% power. How about we do this? That is pretty good. So we're still at only plus 10% power. And we get the productivities and drafting speed is 0.8 minus 60%, but we're keeping up with the regular core fragments getting made here. We're just barely consuming all of the core fragments if the core mining drills never switch off. Which, considering it's night time and our accumulators are still full, that's actually looking pretty good to me. If we can only keep up with the fuel production, which it looks like maybe we can, Oh, is this um how much uranium are we getting in spending? Okay, so this can keep up with consuming all of the uranium ore. And need a rough estimate for 5.5 over 1.6. is 3.44, so 1 over that. We're going at about 29% speed of... I think... This will go at like 29% speed. So we're looking at a uranium fuel cell every several seconds, I guess. That's not what I'm seeing. On the other hand, we do have 70 uranium fuel cells in this uh, chest, so that's kind of promising. At this rate, I don't know if we'll ever send uranium-238 back home, which is fine. Probably should swap these around. There we go. Uh, sure. One chemical gel is one cosmic water and ten petroleum. It's very spency. Hmm. Costs extra chemical gel, which is like 11 fluid unit ingredients to make one. Some have uh, have some of the excess resources from the coal miners go into a factory. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was uh, wondering about the chemical gel ratio as well. I mean, to begin with, if... A recipe is going to take stuff that you can get from Nalvis versus... Wait, it also makes more scrap. Which is probably not a good thing, right? You hardly ever get uh, resources back from scrap. Yeah, this... um does seem arguably worse. Not even a side grade, it's, uh... Even if you were belt feeding it, it's still just two belts. Same number of fluid inputs. It needs an exotic resource. This one, everything comes from Nalvis. And it doesn't seem like it's cheaper or anything. 12, 10, 5, 10, 5, 16, 10, 10, 10. Well, it might be cheaper iron-wise, I guess. Scrap is not a bad thing, but it's not very useful. Yeah, it's just a bit of bit more of a nuisance, right?
We're still at 70 uranium fuel cells, which feels very odd to me. Um, I doubt we're exactly treading water with the amount of fuel cells that are getting consumed by this system. One of the nice things about having a fuel input controlled nuclear system is if I double it, I don't have to think about, you know, if, if, if we're not producing that much, uh, fuel and I double this, it's not going to affect anything. 76? That didn't make anywhere near as much landfill as I expected. Uh, we should have a bunch of stone over here, though. Why don't we turn it into something useful? Uh, we'll put it at the end of this belt, though. Landfill, go. And that's not in the robo network. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Also, I feel like I should probably set up some requests for these since we've got the robo network anyway. Let's just get random stuff gets in my inventory or wherever to come back here. And I'll just make small requests for these. I don't want to involve a million bots for every task. Much easier than finding all this stuff and bringing it back anyway. Something that I should have done earlier as well, which I might just get around to now, is setting up fluid production. Okay, first of all, we need to prioritize getting rid of this crude oil. Um, do I want to just pump it all the way back up here? Not really, but kind of. I don't want to rebuild another one of these down here. I could do that, though. Nah, let's just pump it over this way. Come to think of it, I should do this. And... I think I'll look up this way first to figure out how I'm going to do this. I might just have to run... a wire all the way up here to put a pump here that doesn't let the oil through unless this is pretty much empty. Okay. Or I could just put storage tanks up here. That'd be a lot easier. Alright, let's do it like this. It's got a beat. Where am I? I'm lost. Okay, that already lines up pretty well.
Going to run out of undergrounds here. I can't get through this. Back we go. How's our power being doing with this many core drills? It's still right up there. Although the uranium has been getting burned faster. I mean, not literally yet, but over time it will. Let's grab some of this. And one of these. Add some storage here. And then... Uh, crude oil... Less than... I don't know, 20k. That should be enough to make sure that this stuff can always output crude oil. Oh wait, we need to make sure this is all connected. Uh, actually no, that'll be fine. No matter how slowly I do it. We're done, I think. Cool. And the next thing I would like to do is... Well, for one thing, we need to produce uh, liquid rocket fuel to get out of here. But uh, for another, let's set up a generator. I kind of wish I'd sent some small electric motors up here, but that's okay. I do want to make sure it's a lower priority to send the fluid to the generator than this production stuff. So we'll probably just put some pumps here and say that we have to have like greater than 24k uh, light oil. And then we need to turn it into a solid rocket fuel. I think we need refineries for that, right? A fuel refinery. The ratio for this to rocket fuel was 5 to 1. That's if we don't use productivities, I think. Solid rocket fuel. Yeah, 5 to 1. What if we use prods? It only takes 3 prods, which means if we use efficiency modules we can drop the power consumption down to minimum in a beacon. Uh, we need four to one, pretty much. That's not quite right. I must have misread something. Uh, well, obviously we need four of these, actually. Yeah, no, that's right. We'll be slightly, slightly too slow to keep up with this, but that's okay. Alright. 
let's maybe put this in the middle. Uh, that's going to have to have a pipe down here, isn't it? Actually... Uh... How do we make this look good? If we move... No... This would have to... What if we do it like this? Maybe? Don't really need those to look like that, but whatever. Uh, I've seen worse. Could be better though. Actually, what about the beacon? What? I hope I sent more modules up here. I don't think I did. Not efficiency modules anyway. Yeah, no, I don't think I sent any more modules, to be precise. We'll be able to make some, though. More to the point, I'm trying to figure out where it would fit. So, let's just do a copy-paste. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have, like, a symmetrical pattern for this. Well, maybe something like this. And the pipe can just be down the middle? No, we're not going to be able to have an inserter here. Same problem. If we move this up a bit, not quite. What if we do it like this? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Can I flip these? Nope. Oops. And then we have inserters here, 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 and here. Hee <laughs> hee, it's amazing you came to ver a very similar design for as me. Nice. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. And that actually looks kind of neat. I kind of like it. Uh, medium pole doesn't quite do the job, sadly. Substation on either side will, though. Can we maybe connect up like so as well? That's pretty good. Alright, how fast would this actually make rocket fuel? Uh, half a rocket fuel per second. How quickly would it consume light oil? Only 36 per second. I guess we can double this. I don't know if the pipe will reach... Oh, that's tragic. 
No. No, it can't end this way. Oh, uh, that hurts. Okay. I guess pipe can go like this, and then substation would have to go like that. Would these be... Okay, we can repeat that pattern at least. I guess that's not too bad. Kind of looks pretty neat, actually. Okay. How much are we looking at now? 72. How fast can we make light oil here? Uh, 92 per second. So I think one more of these is going to be one too many. Also, I don't actually have that many fuel refineries. I'm sure I will once I go back here. Hey, the bot's finished picking everything up. Uh, let me just take this where it belongs first. Posted my design to Discord. I just had to show you how similar it is. No worries. Let me have a look. Uh, let's put this here, shall we? Let's see the Discord. Indeed. Yeah, it's the pipes are different, but it's basically the same layout. All right, let's uh, continue, shall we? Bots, you don't need to come this far to take my stuff. No. Did I get my fuel refineries back? Well. Not back, but did I get more of them? These are oil refineries. These are oil refineries. Where are my fuel refineries? If I set a filter on this, does it make them actually bring the fuel refineries over here? Or is it just when they pick up new ones? I'm expecting the latter. And I'm not entirely sure that I have them here. Oh no, there it is. There, there should be another 20. How many f Oh, here we go. Fantastic. Link. Just when new one. Yeah, I thought so. Thanks, uh... Chan? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A tip is to use requesters. Yes, indeed. Uh, have we had any biters get through? None at all. One shot fired, eight structures remain ready. Fantastic. Whoops. Alright. We're going to have to make a few... Uh, efficiency modules for this. But that would be 108 light oil per second. Theoretically, we can produce 92. As expected, that's a bit too much. So let's get rid of this. I wonder if I could maybe... No. This is just barely touching these ones. So no, we can't like mirror it on the other side. Not to get the benefit from the beacon anyway. Okay. So that's our rocket fuel. Double product, well, triple, quadruple productivity, depending on what it goes through. Uh, 
I might have to put down another set of refineries, we'll see. But we're also deprioritizing putting this stuff over here, so no need to worry that it's going to affect production at the main base. And then I would like some boilers. Well, let's figure out where this is going to go first. Actually, that can just go like that. I could put burner inserters here, but no. Actually, is that going to cover everything? Yes, it is. That's pretty good. Oops. And we'll put it on both sides of the belt. Boilers can go here. I'm pretty sure we have room for steam engines like so. And we could even fit substations under these underground belts. Okay. If I put rocket fuel in here, is it going to tell me the consumption rate of rocket fuel? No. No, it's not. Max consumption 1.8 megawatts. Uh, 100 megajoules. So... About... A bit over 50 seconds of runtime for each of these. Do we lose any efficiency converting megajoules to megajoules? I don't know. But I guess there's no harm in having more, that, more of these than we need. It's literally just here to take advantage of spare fluid production for power, which will slow down our, our consumption of uranium. It's kind of like adding more solar panels, only not. And it also gets our production chain for solid rocket fuel sorted out. Also, I don't think uh, these will automatically not consume fuel. I think it'll prioritize consuming the nuclear fuel now that I think about it. So this is all, this is actually kind of implicitly a backup generator. Oh, well, first we actually have to build the steam engines. And I'll need some water as well. We've already got water here, but I think it would be better to have this on its own network. Pipes go here. And here. And I put offshore pump at the end of the queue, didn't I? We're going to need some power for this thing. There we go. Uh, I 
should have realized this is not getting powered. There we go. So that's going to be our rocket fuel. And it is getting burnt. Oh, this will fill up with steam. And then the steam has to be consumed before we burn any more fuel. Which is not because this is a ghost. Okay, so we are making 20 of these. We need 13 more. I saw someone change the craft queue order. Really? How? You can click it to get rid of things. 10 more of these. Five more. Did we run out of something? That's weird. I guess the bots are bringing me other things as well. That'll do it. Not sure how. Well, let me know if you find out. That would be very useful. Uh, I should probably grab our cargo rocket silo. I don't want to pump the... Well, maybe I do, actually. Because we've got all this stuff here already. Maybe I would rather pump the uh, liquid rocket fuel all the way down here. Then again, the solar panels are going to be in the way. Yeah, no. The only thing we're going to use cargo rocket silos for on this planet is leaving for ourselves, I think. So I'll put some prods in that. And... I think we're okay with just putting the cargo rocket silo right here. I think there's a keybind that allows you to craft... Uh, queue a craft to the front instead of the back. I've been wanting that for ages. But I don't know if that was a mod or vanilla. Okay. Yeah, I've always wanted to be able to do that. Uh, we'll also need to unpack cargo rocket sections. And check, 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 whatever. That'll do. Going back to Nalvis. Nalvis landing pad. Manual launch. Oh, did we make all of the steam engines? I didn't even notice. Fantastic. So I th think... I'm not sure... I, w I would have thought, um, wait, is this not connected? Oh, all of the, oh, we're only pumping through a little bit of, wait, this says 25k. If light oil greater than 20k, I'm seeing the pump stop and start, even though this is at 25,000. Let's say greater than 20,000. It is stopping and starting. It's not, it's not this condition that's the problem. It's fully powered. This is... Oh. Minor detail. 
There we go. That should help. So our power output from our steam engines is like half. I would have expected to be 100% or zero depending on the conditions. That's kind of surprising. Pipe full? Yeah, I forgot to put a pipe here and here. So the pipe, the, the light oil was only getting to here. Oh, and it's actually accumulating here already. Quite quickly. That's good. Alright, we are one twentieth of the way to fully fueled to go home already. Um, the rest of that is just going to be used for uh, power. And apparently we have no uranium fuel. Oh, we're doing power management. Okay, cool. That's actually good. I wonder if I should... No, we already did this. Uh, well, we should definitely pick that up. Let's pick up all these rocks and turn them into landfill. All of them, please. That'll keep the butts busy for a few minutes. I should have just done a trees slash rocks whitelist. Let's go. Except I don't actually want to kill the trees. Where are the trees? Over here. There's some scrap. Oh, of course there is. It's from the landing. Okay. That'll hopefully get a bit more stone sent to our landfill production. There's hardly any here, although on one side of the belt it's having no trouble whatsoever. Mm hmm. Products finished 6, 0, 21, 3, 49. We've actually sent, uh, Nearly 5,000 copper plate back to Nalvis from here. A little bit surprising already. Maybe I could add one more of these... Seems like what we have isn't quite enough. Where am I? Alright, furnace. 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 Oh, there it is. And then, like so.
Hopefully that'll be enough to keep the steel furnaces going. I also forgot to make a few more... Let's grab these batteries. Oh, there's none of them. I guess that shouldn't be too surprising at this stage. I would definitely like to have these placed correctly. All of the stone, please. Absolutely all of it. I don't think we need that second nuclear plant for a while, but I definitely wouldn't mind having it. UPS already dropping below 60. How many different outposts do you have? Uh... The UPS can drop below 60 just from my first base, especially while I'm streaming. And especially, especially if I zoom out on the map and turn electric networks on. But this is the main one. Um, it's fairly big and complex. has a lot of circuitry. We've got a base in Nalvis orbit of a moderate size, I would say. Uh, we've also got one on Mars. It's been kind of abandoned. Long story short, Mars was a lot more finite than I realized. That is to say, it was finite. And even though there were no biters, nothing to worry about except meteors, um, the problem I ran into is we were trying to set up coal mining, very, very bottlenecked on power. And we actually mined all of the uranium on the entire planet, only to find it wasn't enough to get a CoverX process started. Uh, so that was unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, we've only got a few outposts. Uh, let's go pick up those media defenses. And see how... See how the power handles them. That is a bit of a spike. Actually, that's a much smaller spike than I was expecting. Wow, that's why that's while they're charging as well. We are totally fine power-wise. Just on that one nuclear plant, as long as we don't actually run out of fuel, we'll be fine. Let's see how much is here. If it's more than 70, it probably means this planet is self-sufficient. 210! Yes. I believe we have Tolubai completely self-sufficient. Um, we'll have to see if... Maybe I should try looking it up. Uh, I haven't thought about it for a bit, but... If it turns out logistic bots uh, never crash as long as there's less than, I don't know how many of them in flight on a surface, then this thing, uh, this planet should be self-sufficient indefinitely now. Um, the only thing left to do is scale up, which... I mean, yeah, the core mining of uranium produces way more than enough uranium 
and everything else to run itself on nuclear power, uh, obviously we're going to hit a point of equilibrium at some point because linear power consumption, diminishing returns for how much more, how many more core fragments we get. But that is quite good. And that's a pretty good note to end on for the stream. Uh, we've got a few minutes left, but I should start looking for someone to raid. Let's see. Click on something and make the ads go away. Alright, so what, if anything, should we be doing in the last few minutes? Apart from queuing up some efficiency modules, I don't think I brought any more batteries. That was just part of my personal logistic requests. And the batteries that we are producing here are all going into ammo for now. I think you can see it in research, but crashing chance. Um... Uh, yeah, so bot, here it is, swarm safety. Logistic bots won't damage things when they crash. If they're in a logistic network with up to X active logistic bots per research, le uh, 500 per research level. So it doesn't prevent them from crashing. Um, all it does is makes it so that they don't destroy, uh, break, uh, damage or destroy anything when they crash. However, um, I've not yet seen any logist- oh no, that's a problem. Um, that's a pretty big problem, how did they get there? Uh, could you please make sure that is powered all the time instead of just some of the time? How on earth did they... This is all inside the walls. Um... Don't tell me there are Bita Medias on Nalvis. Well, even so, we shoot them all down. Okay, so there is apparently a spawner somewhere inside the base. I don't know how or where. There's some stuff that got broken over here. Uh, let's go have a look. Surely we didn't actually get an attack wave that broke through the walls. And then this stuff got replaced. I mean... There's artillery, specifically artillery, missing, so... Oh, I forgot about this. This is probably the problem right here. Yeah, found it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's gonna be fixable. It's fine. For probably. That's gonna be a priority for next stream. Uh, so why don't we drop in on someone playing Factorio? We got the usual... Oh, Phoenix. I think we raided them last time we played Factorio, or quite recently, right? High speed is streaming. King Fnub. Let's drop in on King Fnub. I feel like, uh... After last time, let's sort that out. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the blueprints or the uh, Discord if you're interested. If you have questions, by all means, let me know. Uh, and I'll see you... Let's, what's today? Saturday? Yeah. Same time again tomorrow, unless I am hit by a bus. Alright, take care, guys.
we cleaned up your mess, Mucky. <laughs>